Well, I went to the well, the river was dry. Where did she go, girl of mine? I looked for her and I looked inside and saw the life I'd like to hide. Well, I found myself on the edge of a cliff Tried to take the pain and get my throat a cut But I missed you so much, my sweetnesses And my rotten feet just wouldn't budge So I took my axe, cut down that tree Where we had once begun And I swore to God from that day forth That I'd never hold a gun Cause if I did, they'd lock me up And I would surely run Kill so many in your name, girl, they never see the sun. I was invited down to hell, drank from his glass and it felt just fine. I asked him, where's that girl of mine? But the devil just smiled and left me behind. I smiled back and I finished my beer and I said, adios, I ain't shed the tears. Enjoyed the sample but the flames are ramble and the devil he sure likes to gamble. Yes, I tried to stand tall and knock down that big old wall. I tried to stand strong, but I courted death all along. Yes, I tried to stand tall and knock down that big old wall. I tried to stand strong, but I courted death all along. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dan Fogler 4D Experience. We are here on the eve of the Walking Dead season finale. We've been waiting months and months, and we have an incredible special for you with a whole bunch of the Walking Dead cast. We have Eleanor Matsura, Kari Payton, Cooper Andrews and Paula Lazaro. But first, ladies and gentlemen, my man, your host, he plays Luke on The Walking Dead. It's Dan Fogler. <sighs> 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 Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. <laughs> <laughs> Bring out your dead. This is my Jim Morrison. Bring out your dead. <laughs> bring out your dead. Yeah, oh, bring man. out your dead. It's going to be a lot of dead tomorrow, that's for sure. Folks on the AMC pass got a sneak peek, I think, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. But Yeah, uh, people have been telling me they're, they've been watching it and they're digging it. And they yeah, like yeah. it. If you have the, the AMC subscription, like their loyalty thing, then, then you had the sneak peek. But the rest of us muggles, we're waiting until tomorrow night. <laughs> you're crossing the streams there pal i am i heard that was bad <laughs> i mean i do it all the time what do you love i went to the well but the river was dry where did she go that girl of mine you know i wrote that that's beautiful i wrote that with cooper <laughs> that's and you guys uh you guys are working on it i think we're going to talk about that in a little bit right there's a uh, something you guys are writing uh, musically yeah Writing a musical? What the fuck are you uh, talking? No, no, about? a song, right? I think I that's the song we wrote. That, we wrote that's the song. Okay, great. that's the song. But we should <laughs> write a musical. We should write Beta the musical. That's what we should. Beta do. the that would be great. I love that. Beta town. What about what about a Walking Dead musical? Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, I'd love that. I that'd think be that awesome. would be amazing. And a pair. It has to you be a have parody. All the, well, you have. I think that you should have all of the. Um, you know, all the walkers just be all walking like <laughs> thriller style. That would be crazy. I don't know. <laughs> is that, is that, are, all, are all the humans like jovial when they're on their way? We're off to kill the walkers. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard of the, the, the walking dead? The walk. <laughs> Bernard? There's actually a thing out there. That was coming. The, there's the a one, thing I, I think it's hysterical where you have like this outbreak of of people and they can't stop doing walking 
and they're just walking around <laughs> doing walking. <laughs> hey, I'm doing walking. And then like everyone's like, ah, I'm running from them. If you could recast real. any character in The Walking Dead with Christopher Walken, who would it have been? I think it would be, well, as much as I love, I mean, oh man, that's hard to fucking say. He, uh, I, love- I feel like the general from uh, the early seasons. Um, Ooh, I love Walken. JD. I was going to say, um, I was going to say Negan. Ooh. Right? Can yeah. you imagine all those monologues with his cadence? Mm. You know, as much as I love, <laughs> I love Jay, but, um, okay. I love Jeffrey, but walking would be amazing with that <laughs> bat. Hey, you see this bat? I carry this bat up my ass for 17 years. I got a dysentery. Okay. That was a weird walking. <laughs> okay. So you got some, the, I heard the, cr- the crowd's loving it though, man. The, the, the Are chat. You? Yeah, they love they love the walking, but they really <laughs> they, they like that idea too. Um. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> okay, so uh, you were talking. Okay, so first of all, I want a little pop culture update here. I saw this um, documentary called Fantastic Fungi, and basically, like shrooms are going to save the world if we let it. You know, just like it's crazy because what it does in the uh forest you know it's like the wi-fi for the forest right it connects it lets the forest talk to each, to each other all the organisms um all the plants and it live you know there's a whole network under the soil so you in you you ingest that and it does the same thing in your body it, it connects all the, the the broken synapses and it basically hooks you up with wi-fi so you're speaking to your body correctly and it does that to the universe <laughs> it hooks you up to the psychedelic nature of the universe. Is that's that what unlocks our uh, mutant powers right there. Some I mean, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. You 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 get into the right vibration, you can start levitating. I'm not kidding. So um, yeah, watch Fantastic Fun Fungi. <laughs> that's so funny. Fantastic Fungi. Where to find them? Um, <laughs> it's fighting. Pan- and the other thing, it's fighting pandemics supposedly. That's this awesome. guy should run for president. He wears a mushroom hat. <laughs> uh, but he so should, you're saying uh, he's a dickhead? I'm, you know, well, just... well he kind of he kind of looks like <laughs> a pink. Head. It's hysterical. There is these dirtiest these moments where it's like these sweeping fields, and it's just like just swaying dicks. <laughs> you know, it's just like because it's like these giant close ups of the mushrooms. You know, it's just like giant swaying dicks. And I'm watching my wife. And I'm just like, you're liking this a little too much, honey. <laughs> um you have some uh interesting um news right There's yes stuff i on. do uh real quick i just want to say hi to some of the folks in the in the chat uh we've got a bunch of awesome folks that have been uh, joining us uh every time we have walking dead folks on so what's up to laura who is in your time zone and, and hanging out with us what's up to joe and frederica oh, cool. um who i think might be down in uh brazil hey. maybe or it's, uh, italy italy is where she is um, but anyway, what's up to all the folks in the chat? We appreciate you guys. If you have questions, uh, just get, get my attention real quick. And what's up to the folks in the YouTube, the YouTube is popping off right now. Um, <laughs> uh, loving the impressions and, uh, loving the Pulp Fiction reference and, uh, they love your Jacob mustache. They're happy to see you. Oh, thanks for yeah. noticing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at this, look at this head. My head is fully aerodynamically ready for slapstick. It and, is. Uh, my mustache is uh, is um, there. <laughs> I have um, no choice, but here it is. So to your interests, uh, the pop culture update, two things I thought were pretty cool. Um, I know yeah. you are a huge uh, Coppola fan and Godfather fan. Um, yeah. And there is a film by Barry Levinson starring Oscar Isaac and Jake, Illen, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal uh, yeah, called yeah. Coppola and the Godfather that is now oh, in yeah. production. Um, you're going to get uh, uh, Oscar Isaac as uh, as Coppola and Jake Gyllenhaal as Bob Evans. <laughs> I love that. I, I'm excited <laughs> for that. I like both those guys. And I think, um, you ever see Kid Stays in the Picture? No, I haven't seen that. If Gyllenhaal can match Bob Evans' voice and tone, I think that would, that would, that would be, uh, I don't know, Oscar. He's great. Content. He's great. Um, yeah, and so is... Uh, yeah, Oscar Isaac's very good. So, um, yeah, I'd like to see that. Him as Coppola should be interesting. He's going to have to put on a couple of pounds. 
even Coppola at his skinniest was a little heavy um, in Apocalypse Now. Um, interesting, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kid Stays in the Picture. You got to see that movie. It's very important uh, if, uh, for Hollywood. Um, and uh, yeah, man. Um, I wonder if he's going to, yeah, I wonder if he's going to do the whole voice, you know. Um, am I frozen here? You guys, uh, where are you there? What's going on here? I can't hear you, Burn. Am I muted or are you muted? My bad. The mute, the mute button. Oh, um, I could hear you. I was going to say, uh, also an another thing that caught my eye was, uh, you're a big, we're both big Star Trek fans. Yeah. Um, and you do, uh, you do the Shatner. You got a good Shatner. Um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Um, I used to do a bit in my comedy act with Shatner. I, th I always thought, you know, Shatner, it's just the past tense of, of pooping. So it absolutely like, is. Yeah. And I was like, why the hell not do a bit where he's stuck on the toilet with explosive diarrhea? I think it's really funny. Is there a video of your stand up? Because, you know, you kind yeah, of you got go to my, film and stuff. I want to see uh, that. Yeah. Go to my my i think it's dan dash fogler.com and there's a bunch of old clips of me doing my stand up and that's one of them there's a bunch of crazy comedy um from my early days and uh yeah that was a fun bit i would just basically do this for five minutes oh my god <laughs> my ass is on fire and then like you know the audience would <laughs> just kind of well for a while. Speaking of Trek, and 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 also speaking of uh, your your Zaka Ventus character, who is a derivative of uh, Montalban, um, the worlds are coming together. I hope that yeah, it's all happening. It's okay um, with the C C CBS the All mic. Access. I did. It's it's a giant dick mic right in my face, <laughs> right in your face. <laughs> CBS All Access is reviving a concept of a con prequel series called Star Trek SETI Alpha Five. So well, that's awesome. I that's, hope they call on me after seeing my Zop character on Twitch. Yes, in the Six Sport Dash One, <laughs> and they and they at least they I hope they appreciate the homage that I'm doing to. Maybe they'll sing it in the rain. It right, you'll be like behind the curtain, and then uh, they'll they'll do like a they'll cast like a lookalike or something. Whoa, that's interesting. And then I will come on and I will yes. do my impression. Is this it what you are saying to me? It's so good. It's so good. It's Nobody okay. else can do that voice. It's got. I be don't you. know. I wonder be. who they're going to cast as as young Montaban, or are they going to reverse engineer him CGI-ically? Oh, that made it work. Yeah. I don't know. I, th I feel like uh, you got to go with an unknown. That's it's it can't be well, someone who else. That's, you know, but who else would be able to match that incredibly dramatic tone? <laughs> I will chase you round the moons of Nibaras and through Perdition's flames in order to audition for this part. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> we gotta yeah, chase that one down for you. yeah okay we have three minutes to 420 we do I'm i did want to point out uh you had michael cutlets on the 40x audio audio experience how was that one cheers to you there bernard <laughs> <laughs> your invisible drink and then when it cheers oh, the giant water jug oh that's funny do it mm. take a <laughs> sip Take a sip every time we sip, folks. That's a game that we're going to play. Michael oh, Cutlets. we got to do that. A drinking, 40X drinking game coming next Every time uh, we episode. sip, they take a sip. They have to take a sip every time we sip. Yes. So um, Michael Cudlitz on the, um, the 40X podcast was a delight. Um, please listen to it in honor of uh, this, you know, wonderful week leading up to the finale. Um, yeah, check that out. I said sent out uh, all the fun packs. So please uh, take um, the uh, you know, pictures of the few that you received them. Please let us know that you received them and tag us and let us know that you, uh, that you got it and, and that um, you know, Fogler's Fictions uh, are included in your fun pack. It's got comic books, it's got these posters, it's got signed pictures from me. Um, and I just would like to say that, uh, my comic books are in stores now, Burn. Um, 
and it's kind of wonderful. Um, a beautiful thing. You walk in. I, yeah. I can't wait till you get to walk into a shop and and then see your comic books because I know that the visceral. I haven't been able to, to hold them in my hands yet. I haven't been able to to feel them yet because I'm here in the UK. Um, but uh, I will. But that and and so please go out, go to shops, go on. You know, www.fogersfictions, uh, and check it out, man. Um, I'm a very happy camper. Um, and uh, oh, there we go. Yep. So I'm um, I'm very excited. Please, and if you actually happen to get your hands on one of my comic books, Fish Kill, Brooklyn Gladiator, or Moon Lake. I can't believe I got three titles with heavy metal. Oh my God, it's one minute to, to 420. Metal. Yes, it is. Um, it's actually about like 15 okay. seconds. Also, Moon Lake Digital Guide to the Dark Side for free is out right now. Okay, there's, uh, um, there's surprises uh, inside of the, there's bonus material in there that, that, that previously unpub uh, unpublished material in there. It's all like UFO related. Ooh, it's 420 right now. Um, and I'm doing surprise readings on Instagram uh, live through October, all the way leading up to Halloween. So come and join me. Um, I will do the pop quiz later. Yep. And uh, take it away. This is perfectly timed. Holy crap. Beautiful, Holy ladies crap. and gentlemen, it is 420 Pacific Daylight Time, and that means it is 420 here on this show. Observe it with us. Uh, smoke them if you got them. Uh, hit that vape, jam that edible, enjoy yourselves, dab rig. Producer Elvin's going to take it away with some commercials, and we will be right back. Enjoy your 420. Are you tired of not having the 40 Experience podcast and video cast in your life? Yeah. You love comic books, posters, and signed photos of Dan Fogler, don't you? Well, who doesn't? Well, why the hell aren't you checking out www.foglersfiction.com right now? All right, I will. Repeat it. Huh? Repeat it so I know you know it. Um, www.foglersfiction.com That's right. You like petting unicorns? Sure do. Okay, bye. What? www.foglersfiction.com One-stop shopping for all your Fogler needs. I'm still here. Hello? What? December 2033. I don't have much time. Something's happening to the sun, but the system's trying to hide the changes from us. They'll do anything to keep the status quo, even block out the sky with the constant camp fog. It hypnotizes with super drugs and an endless feed of mindless entertainment. All enforced by a nanite enhanced police department trained to kill first and never ask questions. I'm John Miller, running for my life. You may not know it yet, but I'm humanity's last hope. And I'm getting the hell out before the whole shit house goes up in flames. They call me the Brooklyn Gladiator. Follow me if you want to live. It's like a shot from the show. Say something The walk, Walking Dead-ish. If they found her, they can find us. <laughs> yeah. We have to find our people. Wait a minute, did we find them already? We did, we found them already, but we have to find them again. Yeah. I'm going to take care of the babies. <laughs> You're doing better than that. No way. Hey, Uncle. Oh,
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from the 420 break. Uh, before we get into the thrust, if you will, of our show with all this Walking Dead stuff, I'm going to do a little bit of cannabis education. Did you know that the oldest evidence of marijuana use was discovered in 2,500 year old cemeteries in the peaks of Western China? Amazing. Today, more than 150 million people regularly smoke cannabis, making it one of the world's most popular recreational drugs and or medicinal uh, pieces of, of uh, pain relief. Um, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about a strain called Blue Dream, and I also have uh, an edible here. Uh, so a Blue Dream is a potent cross between the ever popular classic strains of blueberry and haze. Blue Dream is also known as Azure Haze. It's a slightly sativa dominant strain shrouded in mystery. It's not just dreamy because of its stellar flavor and the buzz of a cerebral high, but because of its history has essentially been wiped from the books and many believing its origins must be a dream. First made a name for itself in the medicinal community, though no one knew who made it or where it came from outside uh, of most people speculating that it was birthed somewhere in Santa Cruz. Eventually, the strain caught the attention of legendary reader DJ Short, who has worked hard to give us the version that we have today, where you can find it in shops all over the country, wherever legal. Uh, I also talked to you guys about Punch Edibles last week, and I actually have Punch Edibles here. Uh, this is actually a non-medicated sample. So, um, But I did want to show you guys, I think that Punch is super cool because you can microdose with Punch Edibles. Sorry. Crackling. Um, but you can see right there, your squares are nicely broken up. There's nine of them, and each one of them has about uh, 10 milligrams of THC right there. I'm going to go ahead and break me off a piece um, of that. Um, What's up, Dan? I thought you were offering that to me. <laughs> we'll get you some. Someday. That is damn good. So this Elon is Musk will figure that out. Mint dark chocolate, but they have cookies and cream, peanut butter, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, cherry, so many great flavors. So halfway through this, are you just going to be like, it's a non-medicated sample. Oh, okay. um, so <laughs> but yeah. it, you'll know if something's off. And I did tell you that, that, that it, I've never gotten high, but the first time I ever do, it's going to be with you so and it's got to be like a spectacle, right? Like It'll everyone's got to be there for it. And, and we'll just like, you're just going to keep feeding me stuff and hits and, and, and everyone's just going to watch. It's going to be like, is he getting high? Is he getting high? Where's it? You got to dress as, you got to dress as Rick. Like you have now, you are now. I can do that. And then I'll sneak a mustache on you and then it'll be super troopers. <laughs> this right? is and actually I'll, my super troopers costume. Then I'll keep, rem <laughs> I'll keep removing the mustache and then I'll start, keep talking to you like you're a super trooper. And then I'll add the mustache and talk to you like you're Rick and just be, and, and you'll just be like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I will, okay, I so will say one time, uh, okay. this, I, I gave my staff these non-medicated samples, but one of them, uh, was accidentally medicated. So oh. <laughs> if something gets funny later, there we go. Wow. That's like, <laughs> that's like ganja Russian roulette. Right ganja there. roulette. <laughs> Ma ow! Ma ow! That's the fucking... <laughs> Walking keeps on coming up over and over. Give me another square. Do it. <laughs> Give me another square. <laughs> um, the, we okay. the weed. My fucking <laughs> comic books um, are selling out, and the reviews are awesome, so please pick them up. Um, how? Okay, I just want to talk about, before we bring Eleanor on, um, <laughs> uh, that black and white video at the, the little clip at the beginning that I put out there with the Metallica underneath. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so, I, that's like probably my favorite moment from the entire thing so far that I've been a part of. Um, and, and it was very controversial because oh, I, I'm glad we got past the censors. You know, we got a, we got a bootleg version of the song, like a, and then we got, um, and I put it in black and white and, and this kind of grainy. And so I'm glad we got past the censors, but that, that moment there, because I'm a comic book fan, and when I watch a show, like sometimes I got to turn it to black and white. And when I watch it like that, I'm like, it just feels right. And so then being a part of it, it's very exciting for me. Um, here's a pop quiz. Okay. Uh, whose guitar did I name my motorcycle mace after? A, Telecaster, Jimmy Page's guitar, Rickenbacker. Pete Townsend's guitar, Stratocaster, 
Jimi Hendrix guitar. So A, Telecaster, B, Rickenbacker, C, Stratocaster. Uh, the first person, uh, Bernie, sees answer correctly in the chat. It's a Fogler Fun Pack, and I will send All it to right. you personally. Um, and uh, yeah, I think we, we, yeah, we covered everything here. Is Eleanor in the room? Is she, is she ready uh, to Eleanor rock? is not in the room just yet, and I'm looking in the chat to see people blasting off here all right guys name what look he gave you it's multiple choice you just got to shout out the right one <laughs> um <laughs> they're um, like they're all hesitant which one is it, is it all right so grant says is it rickenbacker he is the first one to rickenbacker which i believe was b um grant, and then grant, uh win, grant. grant is that the win. winner grant, grant is the winner. of you chicago it, it was that easy you're there gonna you get go. a folklore fun pack in the mail Vogler Fun Pack coming to Grant Houghton. And I, I will say, so uh, Grant uh, joins through my feed. I went to high school with Grant Houghton hey. at Notre Dame High School in the Valley. Well, yeah. give him a, give, get his, well, then you know his address already. Um, uh, well, I will get it. I will get it. And get <laughs> Moon Lake, uh, make sure you download the Moon Lake Digital Guide to the Dark Side for free um, on my website, www.foglersfiction.com. Um, and I'm, I, like I said, I'm doing these, uh, surprise readings on Instagram live through October. We just did one. I read the first story from, um, the digital comic book and it was uh, really fun, man. And we get into conspiracy stuff and we talk about moon landing stuff. And so come and join me. I'll, I'll, I'll do a surprise, another surprise one. We'll read another story in the next couple of days. I, I did want to point out in the chat, so we were talking The Walking Dead musical, and there is a, a group, The Road to Cosplay in uh, Italy, um, Frederica is, is on representing them, and they are doing a Walking Dead musical. I think we got we to gotta get, uh, get you and uh, Ross doing some singing on there. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh my um, God. Wait, where is that happening? Uh, in Italy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Andiamo. Grazie, grazie mille. Prego, prego. There we go. And um, right on cue, Eleanor has joined. Well, schnazzlebots. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to shit the brick. <laughs> Entrance stage right. Heavens to Megatroid. No, it's stage left. Is it stage no, left? No, but it's exit stage left, so I did entrance stage right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so flipped it up there. Flipped the script. You flipped it on its head there, Burn. You gotta be careful, man. <laughs> you gotta be careful with that. You could really hurt somebody. Okay, Eleanor Matsura. Matsura. All right, I will begin admitting you know her from Wonder Woman into the Badlands and Yumiko from The Walking Dead. Ladies and gentlemen, Eleanor Matsura. It is late. It is late yeah. in the UK, and she is here. She'll be infected by the bubbly oh, nature of, of the sleep deprivation, same as you are. How That's are right. You? There Hi. You are. How are you? Oh, I'm great. Look at you. Oh, man. Look at you there with your mustache. I know, Hello. I know. It's very strange. <laughs> it's this so. Is, uh, yeah, if I come back on set, I would have to make this one of, one of Luke's weapons. Like he takes yes. it off. Yes. Throws it like a dagger. Yes, you twirl those ends into nice sharp pieces. So it's just like, oh, you could just like swipe, and it would just be like, ding, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. It would be so cool. I love it. You're hey so guys. cool. <laughs> okay, so it's it's uh twelve thirty here in the UK. That's right. That's it's a big night for mom. Yeah. Where? Um, so I know. You, do you have to keep it down because the kids sleep in? Is that a little that? bit. So let's so get this. I'm at my mom's house. Like oh. I'm at my mom's house, um, <laughs> which is just hilarious. Uh, so I've got to keep it down for my mom and dad, and they're like, <laughs> they've got they're listening out for the baby who's sleeping upstairs, and I've got the baby monitor over there, but I've got my earphones in. So I said to my mom, "Look, if she starts crying, I'm on a podcast. I'm just you know I'm plugged in." <laughs> I'm wired in, man. Don't disturb me. I'm busy. Mommy's working. So, how, long, um, how long do we have you now? Do we have you for a little bit? Or? Well, you see, now I'm kind of awake and a little bit excited to talk to nice. you. <laughs> Good. So we go until uh, 2 a.m. your time, and Dan is just like, he gets this wind and is so just, he gets zanier as it goes along. I feel like the sleep deprivation enhances yeah, no, I this, take a, this slapstick. I, it's great. I do a nap. I do a nap. Yes. yes. You see... 
I, I was like, when you said that to me, I was like, yes, buddy, I got to do the nap. I got to do the nap. And then, but then I got excited because I was like staying up and I watched some stuff. And then I was speaking to my husband who's in Canada right now. And now I just kind of, I didn't, I'm basically trying to say I didn't do the nap, but I'm still here. You're still wired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, here. I'm really here. So um, that's good. Um, so, you know, look, if, if I just suddenly crash, like I'll just fall out of frame and, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's, like Vizini. Well, no, I'm done. Right, yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh, that so that's that's fantastic. Um, you stay on as long as you want. To, you know, I, <laughs> we'd love to have you. Um, when you. Where are you watching the show? Have you seen it yet? Or have you, have Buddy, you it's it? not on here till tomorrow night. So we get no. everything a day late, which sucks. Because everything, everything for the British fans, it gets spoiled, you know, because they see everything on Instagram and the social. So they're like, oh, well, I right. guess we know what happens now. Um, which I always think is a bit of a shame, but. But it's okay, you know, like I, I know what happens. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just wait and watch it tomorrow night. Have my another little party for one, a little well, Walking I, Dead premiere for one. Well, we can't even. Oh, right, it's it is. It's it's Sunday here now, so we have to. Mm-hmm. Right mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, How excited to- are you guys? Like we've all been waiting for months, but you oh guys ended God. up. Film- you ended. Oh my God! I just noticed that. your shirt. Sorry, I interrupted yeah. you. That's He's really all- that's real cute. I love that. Me or him? Him. Right, he's all Rick. Yeah, well, I got the Rick, the Rick shirt. You're yeah, cute yeah, anyway, yeah. but I love the Rick yeah. shirt. I didn't notice that. Um, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm excited. Are you excited, Dan? I'm so excited because yeah. uh, I mean it's already been out in the world. People have seen it already, so I, I guess I can start talking about it a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, you know, you you come to do the show, and sometimes you're being you're knocked out and you're being dragged, you know, or you're actually there and you're freaking riding horses and you're killing zombies and you're shooting arrows and you're freaking in it, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I felt like we were in this finale, you know? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, and everyone was put to work, weren't they, this finale? Like there was definitely like some, some meat to chew off the bones <laughs> in the finale. It was like people were coming to like, um, like everyone wanted to serve something up. I think Angela, well, actually the history of The Walking Dead's always been good for that. Angela particularly, she knows how to put on a show for the finale. Don't you feel like she's like, give the people what they want. Give everybody yeah. a big old showdown. So um, that's every, what Every is. season finale has always been huge and, right. and it, fulfilling, but also like, but I gotta have more. She's Angela, really good at that. Angela yeah. came in and um, she shook it up and I, I think she did... You know, she cast. She she was a huge part of casting all of us, and and you know, she, I think she did a wonderful job. And uh, okay, so I just want to talk about the fact that I get to, or I did some bow and arrow training. Okay, <gasps> for this episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, you're mm-hmm. off. You're off in the uh, going towards the. On horseback with Eugene, right? You guys are with yeah. going to find. I'm out of here. Yeah, we're right. on the mission. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, we're. I'm with Magna, and um, so I got to do what you do. And I always thought because the bow was, I, I was oh, it's more of like a tall person's thing, you know. <laughs> you know, I was like, it's more of like a, it's like an elegant, like elven, like an elven kind of, you know. You see, like. <laughs> Very, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like a model, a model can have a bow. Oh, know? that's right. You know I mean? It's the it's the choice of supermodel uh, action figure. It's so elegant. <laughs> it's like, I do, I do, I do, I do. You know what I, I mean? do know what you mean. Like in Lord of it's the like, Rings, like everyone with the bow is gorgeous. You know what I, I was mean? gonna right. say? And if you were in Lord of the Rings and you had like a staff, then you're probably like a midget or a wizard, right? You're like, you're like, is this my bow? Yeah. Oh, this? No, it's my bow. Like, like, oh, I'm just sure. <laughs> And I must say, Eleanor, you would be an amazing elf in the Lord of the Rings world. You walk into it. You've already got the bow skills. You have the beautiful, sharp features. Very elegant. Thank you. I Um, had these put in especially for the the Walking Dead. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. I got them them injected in. That's real good. Yeah. You're like, they gave me a bow. I need to to elf up. Yeah. They told me I had to be a supermodel to carry the bow. So I got some shit injected (laughs) into my... Well, here I'm very okay, dedicated. So I was. I am not a supermodel, and I got to carry the bow and uh, and like train with it. And I was just like, I feel strange with it. And then, like within seconds, I was like, "This is amazing." 
because right? <laughs> yeah because just like kind of like the the horse thing where i was like freaked out with the horses i was like <laughs> and then i started riding the horses and it became like a meditative like i am one with the horse you know that's it and then you become one with the bow and once mm -hmm. you figure out once you figure out oh this is let the bow do the work, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you start hitting targets, you know, from a distance and stuff, then that becomes the meditative practice. Yeah. And um, so I had such a joy learning your, but, you know, you do these things and you learn new things. And I'm yeah, so, right. I was like, I can shoot a bow and arrow now. Like, like this. Yes. Is and it's really powerful. I, I think that was the thing that surprised me when I learned the bow and arrow, because I think there is a sur like a serene quality to, to archers, you know, that they have, they have to be so poised and putting it back and everything, but actually it's a really deadly weapon. And when you feel the thunk go back and the crack of the arrow, you're like, Oh, and if it hits the target, you're like, that's a really like powerful feeling of like, this is a, <laughs> this is a deadly weapon, you know? And it makes it, it, it makes you realize like how cool it is, like how, how people must feel if you can get that, like I always think of the archers, you know, historically there's so many women like archers who like rode horseback, who can do like archery whilst riding a horse. I mean, can you imagine the composition you have to have uh, yeah. to like ride a horse and fire an arrow and keep your balance and hit your target? I mean, like just wonderful, wonderful. Like it's just such an incredible weapon. So beautiful. And also, and, you know, yeah. they, they, sorry to interrupt you. I was just going to say, they cut, in the episode, I think it was, uh, 14 where we had the with the hillside battle um you know we did a lot of fighting stuff and I wanted to use the bow in a different way like I wanted to use because it's like it's a heavy piece of totally. machinery and it's like I wanted to like smack walkers like this and like shut and everything's them back on and, fire right when they're on top of us yeah, yeah right right and I got to do it I don't think it ever made it into the episode which was a bummer because I really had fun doing the choreography of like because you can you can get the ends of that bow and you kind of poof it up into like dunk, right into a, a yeah. walker's skull like you can get quite creative with it which was pretty cool and you'd have to you know once they're on once they're fucking on top of you I, you know what i just remember okay well no let me say this first okay do you know do you know what yumiko means oh oh god i think i did know but i can't remember now oh that's terrible i should know that tell me okay so the name yumiko means child and bow and arrow beautiful and is of japanese origin no wild child that is wild and it means bow and arrow i don't know i mean if you think kirkman knew that he probably knew that i do he yeah. knew he knew you knew that like, it's, it's I, too good that's too good. I didn't. That's crazy that I didn't realize it meant bow and arrow. I mean, hello. That's crazy. crazy. Why didn't I ask my dad that? It means child, beautiful bow and arrow, and of yeah. Japanese origin. Wow, that yeah. is extraordinary. That's so cool. I just remembered. Um, I know it's really cool. Okay. Okay. I just remembered that first. You know that first thing that we shot with Greg. <laughs> and it was like, like the hottest fucking just, I think that's the sweatiest I've ever been on the show and that was like one of dude. the first things I've ever shot dude you remember that everyone was fucking soaked and yes. we, it was our first appearance basically and we had to be high anxiety you know we're about to uh, Judith is about to be there with you know saving us with her her, ma uh, her magnum yeah um, when we're surrounded yeah. I just remember just yeah. sweating my brains out. Yeah. Just like, and just being like, oh my God. I know. I know. Is it not going to be like this all the time? I just I thought it was. Like, a I felt like the day was like 20 hours long. Like the day never ended. It was like, it was the sun's in the sky, the sun's in the sky. The sun's still in the sky. Oh my God, it's hot. It's so hot. Why is it? It's 7 p.m. Why is it still hot? And I was like freaking out. I remember me, you, and Nadia were sat on the chairs. And I remember Nadia being like, man, like my, my crotch is, is, is just a pool of sweat. And I, I, at one point I had like a mini fan and I found myself like 
mini fanning her crotch. And I don't mean this in like a kind of perverse way, but we were just like, is this it? Is this the job? Is this the gig? Like, as I'm like fanning her crotch, like, what, what is this? What is I just remember looking at, I just remember looking around and just being like delirious, just being like blazer. Blazer was a bad choice. Was- you had a blazer on. That was on. You, that was a rough blazer as well. That was a that was a thick texture. I remember. Everyone, I was just like, yeah, I want to have the patches like a professor. <laughs> Schmuck. And they're like, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. god. It was great. It was great during the cold months yeah. when you guys were just wearing a t-shirt, you know. And I was oh, just yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, blazer. Yeah. But in the hot yeah. months, yeah. Oh my good lord. Yeah. I know it was that was really wild, and and I've never drunk so much um, uh, that rehydration drink that they always serve in America. What is that? Gatorade. <laughs> Gatorade? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a Gatorade, but it's called something different. And they're always like, everyone's always handing you a bottle. They're like, please have Power- this Gatorade, and, Powerade. Uh, there's yeah, something. yeah, like Powerade, like that kind yeah. of. Stuff. And at first, I was like, <laughs> okay. hydration drink from the states. <laughs> I was like, thank you. It was, it was, yeah, sorry. It's always like a luminous color, you know? So I was always like, yes. I was like, dude, I don't want that. But then after like you know, <laughs> two, hour 20, I was like, give me, give me the aid. Give it to me. It was, it was, it was really hotter. gnarly. It was never hotter than that day. That's true. That was like, it was never hotter. It was literally like a trial by fire. Yeah. And we, yeah. So Dan, and, I was, I was excited for that episode that you guys were talking about because, you know, I, I, uh, I actually hadn't watched the show until you you were going to be on it and I was going to be hosting um, uh, New York Comic Con panel stuff. And I'm like, great, my friend's on the show. I haven't seen it. I've always wanted to. And so I powered through all of it and I was so excited. And there's a character named Bernie. There's never a Bernie anywhere. And dude is dead in like 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> they deal with Bernie quick, smart. He's out of that. I'm so sad. Um, Bernie, man. I'm yeah, that's sorry. A, that's an emotional moment, man. Yeah. 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 Was. Bernie was a pal. He was a he was a good man. I want them it's, to do I want them to do flashbacks where you where you see us, you know. It's so funny, yeah. but I I'd have to figure out the the weight thing. I'd have to like yeah. put on like 40 pounds. That's yeah, 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 they'd have ask, to Can you imagine that? Ask, like Dan, if they do it, like if they do, if they put you in the anthology season and they flash back, then you're going to have to wear like a suit to pad up with your blazer in georgia in the heat or they could or they could explain it where like (laughs) i'm this size and then the place that i'm find you guys is like a hostess cupcake (laughs) and we haul we're just there for like several months yeah yeah, yeah. and then (laughs) then we leave you're the reason dan (laughs) your your character is the reason there's no twinkies in zombie land that's it exactly that's it we ate them all actually he he eats them all and then we're like listen (laughs) We love you, Luke. We got to get out of here because if you don't get killed by zombies, you're going to die from the Twinkies. So we got to go. <laughs> and then we bounce. Oh my God. Like, we got to bounce. Let's get out of here. Twinkie. <laughs> Uh, there's a uh, in our chat. Laura's asking uh, for the two Please. of you guys. Um, uh, was it was there something uh, easier? It was it easier or cool for you guys to ease into the show coming in as a group? A lot of people, their character okay. introduction is more of an individual, and and you had mm-hmm. like a clan that you came in with. How was that I, for you guys? I loved our group, man, and and mm-hmm. and the whole the bonding over the learning of the sign language is very special. Mm, yeah, you're right. You're right. That really was, that really was special. I loved it too. I thought, I thought it, it was such a gift to enter as a family of like, um, you know, because the show was in such a particular place. They had their main guy leaving. Um, everyone was feeling kind of rough from that and a little raw from that. And uh, to enter in that space by myself would have been, would have been tough, I think. But we really went through it. We really, we really got to enter it together and kind of hold each other's hands, which is exactly what our characters did in the show, right? Like we entered the community all kind of going, well, we're a family, we've got to stick together. And I think that really helped inform the story of what we were doing. So it all kind of came a bit like art imitating life. And yeah, I appreciated that a lot. It's a wild cycle too with, uh, you know, the, the landscape of the show in narrative and, and how people in the cast come and go um, and, and the dynamic and how that all changes. And your characters are now seasoned, right? You guys yeah. were the new crew, but you guys are, are pretty well seasoned and kind of moved up the ladder there. 
You know, it's funny because I don't know about you, Dan, but I still feel brand new. I yeah. still feel like I've just joined in so many ways. Like, yeah, I've in, come in and come out and, yeah. you know, I, yeah. So I, I do, I feel like I'm still figuring it out. I mean, yeah. Like the whole idea that we, we have, you know, there's a whole other parallel story where you, you see us for surviving for fucking, you know, right. nine years or whatever the hell. Right. Um, how, you know, um, because we had to, there's that. So just knowing that, knowing that, okay, Okay, we're we're tough bastards, and and yeah. uh, so just, just there's a lot of acting where it's just like yeah we've been through it and you know but um, but the feeling on set for sure I, it's I still feel very new to it and now it's it's crazy it's coming to uh, it's eleventh season this is this is wild man it's it's I'm so happy to have jumped onto the last crest Me too. Of the wave, right Me too. I wonder that this is a this is a theory. This is a theory I have about the Commonwealth and where you guys are headed. I'm mm-hmm. hoping, I'm hoping that Rick is there in the hospital or something. Mm. That we see him there. That would be that would be cool. Because um, I would love to have a chance to just work with him, whether it's oh, me too. in the last season on the show or if it's um, in a film or something. Whatever yeah. they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Jump, yeah. You know, I would I would just love to continue. I feel like we're like our guys, our characters are just getting started. I that's exactly how I feel. I feel like I've just gone started, and I've just like like it's just begun to get. And with the greatest respect to the story, it's like it's just started to get really juicy for me personally. And I'm like, oh man, I feel like I was just getting going. Yeah. Um, and I think with with Andy Lincoln, it's like he's such a part of the show that no one can talk about it. Like like even you know here when I speak to people and they're like, Oh, you're on that show. So, Oh wow. Like how's it to work with Andrew Lincoln? And I'm like, Oh, Oh no, no. I, I came like, as he left, I literally like came through the door as he left it open for us. <laughs> and they're like, huh. And it feels strange. Cause I, cause I think I do want that experience to sort of have the, um, the, the Rick Grimes, uh, pers- like the Rick Grimes scene. I want to see him. I want to see him in action. I want to be in the room. You know, yeah. when I I want to I want to meet him. Yeah, uh, like, I think. Yeah, uh, I'm with you. Yeah, I think Kari's here. I think he wants yes. to be. In the room. I was just going to say, you know who we could ask, uh, Kari and Coop. Yes, Coop. here. Yeah, they are oh. both here. All right, ladies, ladies Thanks and again. gentlemen of the 4D experience, please welcome to the show Cooper Andrews and Kari Payton. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jerry and the King. Yeah, there they are, Jerry there and the we King. Go. There they are. Get <laughs> gallery B. Come roll, please. It's always a guess of uh, where in the house whoa. Coop's going to be. <laughs> What's going uh, on? Kari. That's not Kari, is it? He's dressed up. He's dressed up a mop. You guys Kari. are freaking me out. It's Darth Kari. <laughs> guys, I can't. I can't. Nobody can know I'm here. Why? Because I'm. <laughs> Cause I'm about to spoil the hell out of this show. Man. Ah. I'm staying it. I'm staying it. I'm in. I'm staying in quarantine, away from all of it. <laughs> just, <laughs> what do you? What do you mean you're about to spoil it? Man, great. I'm in. This is my. This is my. This is my. Uh, you know, COVID get up, man. Nobody's <laughs> safe. Hey. Nobody's safe. You're looking good, man. You're you looking look good. You look fresh. Not, actually, I am burning up. This is killing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're trying to like. Kari looks like a music star right now. I think you're he trying. To, I think you're trying to float that you want to be a Sith Lord in some Star Wars. Thing. Yeah, I'm here for that. that. Let's do don't that. We all want to be a, don't we all have a little Sith in all of us? I, 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 I sound so. like I, I'd like I'd like to be the Mister Rogers of Sith and be like you know, <laughs> sometimes. It was, but you he know, was looking what? like he was looking you're like proto Black Noir. You. I love the Mr. <laughs> Mr. Rogers Sith combination. Yeah. That's, I just didn't see those two people being in the same room. But hey, yeah. here we are. Oh, I love that. You know what? Uh, it's, it's been that kind of week, man. Oh, honey. You don't yeah. have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got look, I look, I look like I'm in a safe house. And where, where are you? You, you, look, you look like you're, you're in, in, the, uh, in the Queen's guest house. What's what? You know? My mom's house. <laughs> See, I, I was right. I was right. 
<laughs> my mum is the Queen of England. Thank you for asking. Um, yeah, this is my mum's house. I'm in the room in the house where it's the most quiet because everybody's asleep because it's like one in the morning here. So there is there is there is a what may or may not be a great comedy show actually on the other side of of my uh, apartment. I got this got this great place that's kind of on the corner and and and. And up high, and has this, you know, and and then halfway through the uh, the 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 quarantine and and uh, pandemic and everything, they decided that you know what we've got this great you know uh, gra grassy area. Why don't six days a week we we put on a loudspeaker and just ruin Kari's evening? <laughs> you know, but every every night it might be a great show, but all I hear is Charlie Brown's teacher going. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Just, just walk out there and deliver a monologue. Just for, <laughs> screw those guys. Just walk up on the stage. The lights are there, and just deliver a monologue. The monologues I wanted to uh, <laughs> recite would get me arrested. I, so, so I've, so I've decided, <laughs> I've decided to, uh, to just move closer to the studio. So, uh, so this is like my last few days. I, <laughs> I just decided. I was like, I actually, I, I moved, you know, out to At Atlanta, away from the studio. Because so that I uh, because there there were great restaurants here and and a great you know kind of belt line to walk and and run and and uh, you know it's you know nice to see all the people in normal time now I don't want to see any of these people get get away from me people mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so I really, well I was gonna ask who's having who who are all those people having a rally or having a concert like they shouldn't be meeting just saying they probably they probably shouldn't. They probably shouldn't, but with but, their uh, loudspeaker. Hey, exactly. You know, the last time the last time I saw you guys, do you realize that we got banned in New Zealand? Did we? <laughs> the, the famous or infamous dance party? Yeah, we okay, got banned yeah, we in New Zealand. Band. Yeah, we got banned in New Zealand for some reason. Why? I had yeah. no idea. How Rock and roll, roll man. <laughs> <laughs> Which, which I told you, Mom's still cool. I still yeah, got it. They were, yeah. why, 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 but why? 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 Yeah, yeah. Was it a song? Was it a song? Maybe? They were copy. We had copyright song issues, but oh, oh you know. yeah, I'm but, sure. But uh, but New Zealand, oh I don't know. They they got they had issues. You know, but what? I think that's so so cool. You know what? Don't knock New Zealand though. You know because cause, <laughs> because because. Uh, <laughs> They go, they go, not they go, they go all the way when it goes, comes to a lockdown. They're like, they're like, don't, don't be broadcasting to rock and roll. Don't do nothing. We're going to try. You know what? We, they're, they're like, you know what? We've got, we've got the Shire and the Rolling Peat. Right. So that's all we need. Mm. Well, we and most need importantly, they have zero COVID. So yep. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So they're doing something right. So, I get it. So I hear you. Exactly. They do that. They got they got elves and shit down there. Mm -hmm. They don't mm -hmm. need us. I think the secret streaming the secret, shit. The secret to the COVID is uh, they chew that. What is that red root or something? It's mm -hmm. in it. You know what I'm talking about? It gets and it's like um, red root. Oh, do you mean? Is do you mean? Um, do you mean? Um, you beta? Do you mean beta nut? Is that what you mean? The chew root? What is it? Makes your teeth. Do you mean the chew root? It's like Makes beta that gets that gets your your teeth fucked up red right it makes it all red mm -hmm. uh, anyway. it makes you look yeah i think it's is that it but is that the answer to COVID? can we start you exporting tell someone. that somebody get on that there's a business <laughs> yeah there. yeah well, that's the sure shit like you just you chew Wait, it you are, get we, super are we are we uh have, have we started is this is the party <laughs> already started <laughs> Yeah. Have we started is, is the uh, yes the we are live yeah. we are live Kari, right now okay I, I, was, oh, there was a, I was waiting for a theme song or something you know oh my da, 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 da. no that happened yeah. before. No, now, now we're banned before. now we're banned in new zealand Kari. stop okay. singing oh. stop singing next time next time you're on the 40x Kari, we'll have a whole wwe style entrance for you hey okay Absolutely. so this is, this is very yeah special. yeah without pyrotechnics i don't expect to be starting <laughs> this is very special for me because i got I got Cooper and I got, well, I got, you know, Eleanor, but I, of course, <laughs> this is wonderful to have Eleanor, but Thanks. I got Jerry, I got Jerry, okay, and I got the king on my show, okay, I got, mm. I got, okay, I got Cooper and, 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 and Kari on the show, and this, this bromance, you know, or whatever you want to call it, is very fucking special, it's a very special <laughs> thing that happened on the show, and I, and 
it's kind of being put to the traces now because you're you're going in separate directions and i'm and i'm wondering what you know that relationship is now i'm such a fan at this moment i'm just like <laughs> you know, what's, the, <laughs> what's the what's the relationship going to be in that that you know did did you guys have that emotion yeah you had the emotional parting you know and we did um, we so did let's talk yeah. about that a little bit let's let's and well, and where, what's little, the feeling Here's a here's a little spoiler that you you don't know about. It's a little um it's a it's a little uh backstory subtext that uh that Cooper and I came up with. But oh, yeah? uh but actually uh yeah, but but actually Ezekiel and Jerry uh do have the two last working cell phones in in the world. <laughs> so, and they just they just they just <laughs> talk to each other, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's great. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's got they've got a little crank. You just you crank the Aww. back. I know, and it's 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 very sweet. It's very sweet. It never gets recorded, but it's uh, but it's it's all it's always a, a lovely time. I get to keep up with the kids. Uh, he he, you know, he he gets to. Um, I take photos of Carol, just to say, oh, that, that's her by the, the watering hole. <laughs> I don't know why you not, want this. Not dude. creepy at all. Yeah, not, not, yeah, that's not weird. I just had this crazy. I just had this crazy vision of like, what's the like, what's the like the the messenger pigeon version of that? That was just like Cooper. I just see. I just see Jerry there, like <laughs> writing writing a letter. He's just all, I miss you, man. Roll and it he, like up. rolls it up. He staple. He just staples it to a walker's head. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he shuffles him off. off. In the yeah, in the general it, direction, go that right way. Yeah, you pull it <laughs> off. Oh, my but passenger carrier walker. Uh, <laughs> it's my passenger I walker. Am. That's it's so a, it's cute. A, yeah, it's a, like a zombie postal worker. We just use the same <laughs> one, you know, just push him back and forth long down legs. the road. Um, the long legs. So so, <laughs> man, like, that's I don't know. It's it's emotional for me. It must be emotional for you guys. Um, and I'm just curious, like, I, I, you know what? I, I, I wanted to talk about Ezekiel for a second. Oh, um, because I, 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 I just, I just, he was, he was one of my favorite characters in the comic book and I feel connected to him as Luke because our heads were supposed to be on those pikes together. Sure. Yeah. We, yeah. we evaded that. You know, you somehow get you know. I mean, I, I get it Amen. about the fact that I'm still yeah. here. You know, yeah. but, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, and I and I I hope he beats whatever he's got. You know, in his uh, lymph. I note. do too, man. You never know with it with this show. Honestly, you don't know. Uh, you know how it's how it's going to go. It's always kind of a coin flip. You know, the, mm -hmm. you, you, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I mean, li literally every half season, <laughs> I just I just get scads of people saying, you know what? I know you're going to die. I'm sorry it's going <laughs> to happen to you. And I was like, I was like, how do you know? I don't know. You know, they don't tell me until like, the, you know, the last second. You know, I you know, it's I, I think it's a, a way to keep somebody from, you know, just really going postal. But but, uh, you know, you know, the less you have to think about it. But. But uh, you know, we're we're lucky to have really much much time to think about you know the uh, the end when it comes. So many people who who've uh, who've died on the show, they really haven't haven't had much notice. You know, we I think I think uh, the the writers and producers really do kind of um, uh, uh, agonize over these choices, and and uh, and unfortunately, that means that it's kind of the last minute when they find out you know if you're if you're staying or if you're going. And um, and so so I just I just feel lucky that that somehow I've been dancing between raindrops, you know, for a, <laughs> yeah. a, a couple of seasons now, you know, and uh, and uh, oh, yeah. you know, so every every episode that that I'm on a little longer is kind of a blessing, you know, and so uh, and I think that that Ezekiel is is uh, is getting to the point that he kind of feels the same way. He was like, you know, first you you had to deal with walkers, then you have to deal with you know insane human beings and uh and now he's got this cancer i think he i think he, he's gotten to the to the point now um honestly i'm not i'm not sure i'm hoping that this is his journey is that he's is that he's uh you know being thankful for every every moment because he should have been dead a long time ago you know what i mean 
I find him I find him to be incredibly human, you know. It, like like okay, for instance, we showed that clip uh, at the beginning of the show. We showed that clip where um, we're up against the wall of walkers with the the um, electric line, and they're all sizzling. You know that mm, that yeah okay yeah. And um, and we're just I mean I love like this is my favorite thing to be a part of. During that moment, everyone's just trying to be like, yeah, I'm a fucking gladiator. And then there's a mint. There's a the only person in there that has a moment of oh shit <laughs> is is Ezekiel. He loses. He fucking stabs a knife in someone's head. He loses the fucking knife. That happens, man. That's war. And he fucking yeah. comes back and oh, uh, and it and it makes it so moments like that. I feel make things so real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the the funny thing is, is that is that uh, <laughs> yeah. the the whole reason that that happened is that whatever we were. We were shooting that scene, you know, for a few days, and uh, and and one of the uh, the the extras, uh, uh, next man, I forget his name. I hate that I can't recall his name at the moment. But but uh, he is a really fun show, right? guy, huge dude, huge, big, burly guy, and he had a sledgehammer slung across his back. And I was like, I was like, one day, man, you're gonna swing that hammer, dude. It's gonna be awesome. And <laughs> uh, and then we started doing the uh, scene, and he's one of the guys holding the shield. You know, and so uh, so he could never swing the swing the uh, the sledgehammer. That thing was heavy, too. And it was uh, and uh, he just had it on his back. And I was like, somebody should swing that thing. And I was like, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pretend that I stuck my sword in one of these uh, walkers and then yeah. and it just didn't get pulled out. And so, so yeah. that I can swing this ham- th- this mm-hmm. hammer. And, I mean, mm-hmm. that, that was that was the whole thing is that is that I was like, that thing's sitting there just waiting for somebody to swing it. I'm going to swing <laughs> it. So I like to point so out, sw- though, <laughs> this happened. This is what this is what your thought process of this happened in the scene, by the way. This wasn't <laughs> like you didn't t- you didn't talk about it. You didn't tell anybody about it. The sword got stuck. You looked around. You're kidding. And then he pulled out the hammer and then just started going. It was awesome. And that's what made it. I did think about it. I did think about it, but I didn't tell anybody because I was afraid they were going to tell me no. Oh. <laughs> that's so great. I love that's that. Very Jack Nicholson of you. Yes. That's very Jack. Yeah. I, I, the, the producers and all, and the walkers like, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no, Corey. You got to warn us about this stuff. You're like, no, I'm in the moment. I'm in the moment. I mean, those things are like. <laughs> Those things are rubber for a reason. Like we get out of hand, uh-huh. but because it, I remember like those extras, I love all the extras. I remember during that time, they're like, yeah, just keep going, keep smashing, keep smashing. And I, after a while, I looked down, I was like, wait a minute, I'm not smashing. I was like just smashing this like dummy's ass over and over again. And then I, I thought it was a dummy. I thought it was, you know, a mannequin. Oh, no. And it was. Oh, and then no. I see the guy get up. He's just like, ah, oh, yeah, no, I'm fine. Oh, I'm no. fine. I was like, oh my God. I was yeah, smashing. That's so bad. That's so the, bad. The, oh, the, uh, but those things are rubber. Uh, those things. I've got. Those I've got this, this this crazy so. illuminated thing to keep me. The, the, but but it but it it's supposed to be a night light. So it so it dims slowly over. To, you know to, to uh, I, I I thought it would be a cool thing to light it, but 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 it, it dims slowly so that so that I'll go to sleep. <laughs> and so so as we're doing this, it just keeps like slowly dimming. And I'm like, this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, it's, yeah, sleep. yeah, this is my little. Oh. Ooh, that. I, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't even notice. I was like dang no. it. I now like I, want, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to apologize again to the to the walker that I was hitting in the ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, that guy a fruit I basket. loved every minute of it. No, he pulled me aside. He was like, he was like, ne- never, never had it like that before. Yeah, he ne- told never me been. Anything. He told yeah. me this absolutely. Thing. He was like, you can we keep doing it? Can let's keep doing it. Yeah, thank exactly. you, man. I have another. <laughs> They're so encouraging. You know what? The stunt walkers, walkers, the stunt walkers, man. They they <laughs> are. They love that. They 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 they're like you, you know you kick them and then they fall and you're oh like oh God. man I'm so sorry and they're like nah man give it to me come at yeah. me you know the worst is when is when you know when everyone's lying on the ground you know when they, like, like you're supposed to have, like killed a bunch of them and some of them are, are dummies and bodies and some of them are real bodies so like you're walking along and you're taking like funny pictures and you like you tread on one and it's just like and they but but they're so they're so professional and they're so well trained that they won't even say ow like you just fucking trod on me so i'm like oh my god that's a real person they're always like don't worry about it and i'm like no i should 
I should worry about they, it. That's a terrible thing of me to do. So you true. were skipping. You weren't walking. You were skipping. I saw. I was that. jumping. Were, I was like, and then photo jumping, skipping through, <laughs> I was shooting jumping. arrows. Yeah, I guess that's what they had a problem with, huh? Okay. Mm, I, have, I have a question. Can I we take a, a moment? Can we take a moment yeah. to to uh to, to appreciate uh, Eleanor looks amazing right now? I just realized what a schlub we we all all are looking what, like. Listen, it, yo, but, but Eleanor is. is I'm very. I, you right were now. very close to having me in my pajamas because that's how late it's it is here. In the morning. It's one in the morning. It's one in the mo yeah. Darling, it's one in the morning. But then I also realized this is a little Carol Baskin, isn't it? Especially with the background. It's a little <laughs> oh, bit like yeah, cool cats and kittens. <laughs> was like, good, okay, cool cats and kittens. I think. Buried in the wall. Kari, I think we need King Ezekiel's thoughts on the Tiger King here. I don't know if anyone's yes. gotten that, oh, but I feel right. feel like that's appreciate I, <laughs> I, I, I don't. Doesn't it seem like forever ago? I know. It seems, know it, it seems like forever ago. You, you remember when we all thought that, you know what? Why don't we just watch this documentary of the of the of the Tiger King? And by the time we done we're done, this whole thing will be over. Yeah. And uh, and and the Tiger King <laughs> is 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 so far gone. I can't I, I can't even. I'm I'm surprised that you remember the name Carol Baskin. I, Thank I totally you. Right. Forgot Thank her name. You. And I guess I'm just and, a uh, huge fan. <laughs> just a huge, well, you know, what what did she say? Hey there, little cats and kittens. What? Hey there, you hey. cool cats and kittens. I should have opened uh, with that when I came on. I should have opened my favorite, with that. Damn it. My favorite bit from trick. the whole thing. My favorite bit from the whole thing was when he was just like, God damn it, I was in that cage and there were 15 grown tigers and they attacked me. They started biting at my penis and no one <laughs> tried to help me. No one, no no one, one came in. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> that was okay, a great so, moment and it's a million yeah. years ago you're it right does. Kari it feels so <laughs> it was good. years ago yeah. 2020 is like five years put together oh, oh my God. gosh it's crazy it's crazy mm -hmm. yeah um, yeah let me ask you something uh Jerry um is Je uh, Cooper is Jerry Cooper I, uh, Cooper we were joking about this <laughs> and we thought like now now, now that now that Jerry is is kind of like, is he going to step up and become, you know, the king, or is he going to become the the leader in Ezekiel's place? And is is Jerry going to start talking like Ezekiel in a very kingly manner? I you remember that? Wanted that so much. We did <laughs> when we did our 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 goodbye, like when we had our goodbye scene. I did yeah. this version just just so they had it because I had to get it out of my system. Wait, you did um, it? When I called them, but they don't they didn't put it in. They didn't use it. It's like no, that, that's, but there's like a blooper somewhere. But, uh, I've got to see. Yeah, there is there is there are takes that exist where when I'm set up like uh like you know later Ezekiel you know like you got it Ezekiel. I then said like you got it Ezekiel, and I tried to do like that. <laughs> I tried to do like my best king voice. Just Give in case they're like, I went Ezekiel, like <laughs> Ezekiel, and I was, like, <laughs> I was like, just in case. I, I said, that's where I they say were going. If, he, if he doesn't go full <laughs> king, at least like Duke of Earl, you know? Yeah. Yes. You yeah. know, a or Duke maybe Duke. Queen. A, absolutely. You know, Baron, a Baron, By a Baron the king of the forest. <laughs> oh man, I don't. I think you know. I think. I think Jerry's going to do exactly what Ezekiel told him to do. <laughs> I think, like, I think even if, like, Ezekiel's, like, do this, Jerry's going to do it to his best ability um, because that was that was what he told him to do. So oh, That's so sweet. I love that. Yeah. I, yeah. Think that, I, like, I think that AMC is missing something. They should have a whole line of Jerry's cobblers Right. <laughs> Absolutely. They should have. Absolutely. They should have uh, uh, Alexandria pizza oven fresh out of the pizza oven pizza. Yes. I'm telling you. Absolutely. Right? Yes. We could have a whole food court. We could have an entire food court. Yeah. Hilltop yeah. sausages. Hilltop sausages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screw those guys, Dan. We'll just do it at Comic Con ourselves. Sausages. <laughs> Hilltop is barbecue. All barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Kingdom, everything. CBD, Kingdom Weed. I think yeah. you know because because uh, that's that's uh, that's everything that was growing out of those uh, filing cabinets was uh, yes. was 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 absolutely medicinal herb. Yes. It was yes, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Pom- and pomegranates. <laughs> yeah, man. I, a great I combination. Wanted, I wanted the first time you come into the kingdom, like the gates open and just a puff of smoke just <laughs> out. <you know? laughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah. Like, the open man, air. Every, in the open air, it's just a constant yes, cloud, yes. just looming. <laughs> Probably wanted to stay so badly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're like, guys, you should really come here. You guys don't get it. Come here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, what's you wrong know with what? the plumbing? When... Hydroponics. That's what's up. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, the kingdom had it all. They had to work hard to figure out a reason why the kingdom wasn't because because we we had everything there, man. We we had the uh, exactly we had the hydroponic medicinal herb. <laughs> we, had the, we, had, we 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 had the you know the, the, the oven. brick sanctuary. You know what I mean? Beautiful houses. Yeah, beautiful, you know, houses, beautiful houses. The tiger. Like, what more do they want, the people? No, what more do they yeah, want? School buses. The we cinema. had like the Partridge yeah. Family school bus. You yeah. know, music hour. It was amazing. You guys want to hear something? What they were thinking? What were they thinking? You want to hear something crazy, guys? I know, I know. Um, okay, so so uh, Kari came on the podcast, and it's a great podcast. You should you should listen to it. Um, and um, we, I know you have a kind of weird thing with your name, but I have to tell them what your your no, name. No, no, no. I I love it, man. Go ahead, tell, okay. talk, talk to me, talk to me. So, so Kari Payton. You guys want to know what his name means? <laughs> Yes, obviously, immediately. It's the most, per, it's the most. I do this, you know. I, I, and, and when you guys come on the pod, I've done this for Cooper. When you and uh, Eleanor, when you come on the podcast, I'll do this for you. Um, now, his name Kari means kingly, and Peyton means warrior town. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> no way are you kidding me yeah it's so weird that's awesome so weird i didn't know that about peyton i didn't know that about my last name Whoa. i knew that my, my my mom found kari in a book that and uh she she it was a it was a a character in a book i think and um and uh the name that that the translation she found said that it meant uh 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 the little king or something and so, and, and, uh, and then I, yeah. And then, and then, um, and then I would, I would meet guys from like North Africa uh, and, and they would be like, do you know what your name is? <laughs> and I was, I was like, yeah, yeah. It means like the little king. We're like, no, 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 no. It means mm-hmm. you bring a crown to your family. You bring <gasps> a crown to your family. And then, and, and, and then it, would, it was always something like something kind of positive that you bring to your 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 people live up. I many times I, I would I would say okay I changed the definition I was like yes it bring, means you bring a crown to your family and be like, no 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 <laughs> it means you bring great luck to your family <laughs> I was like, okay okay thank you thank you I could never quite get it right you know when, when I would I would talk to to, to the uh, so let me ask amazing. you a question um, okay do you think um, Okay, well, now that now that everything's coming to an end here, we we got the eleventh season. I'm getting nostalgic, and I'm like, only been on two seasons. Um, what do you think you're gonna miss most about the show? Oh, oh man. <laughs> I can't. Where did Kari go? Kari, Kari got too emotional. Oh, Dude, my oh, is. Right. So, internet literally <laughs> went out. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, What's those bad. people in the park using your bandwidth? That's right. <laughs> Might be Good ghost. You. But you're Charlie a ghost. Brown's expert. teacher is. Kari's a ghost. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know where. I actually am a ghost wizard. Did I tell you that? You did. Yeah. Wow. My internet is unstable. It just told me. Can you tell your ghosts to to stabilize it? 
Yeah, yeah. Let me <laughs> whisper to them, Corey. This building was that old, but but yeah, let me let me talk to them a little bit. Yeah, normally, yeah. Uh, normally they they're good to me. So I think I'm gonna miss. Uh, I think I'm gonna miss. Um, killing zombies and uh, uh, horse horse riding and shooting <laughs> arrows. Yeah, killing zombies, horse riding. What are you talking? What, 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 what are you talking about? Uh, uh, what are you gonna? You're gonna miss it? You're not gonna miss it. Well, there's only, only one season left. Well, I mean, yes, but it, they, they, they're like, oh, the the show's going off the air. After we do forty-five more episodes, you know, we got so much. Uh, we got so much work to do. We're gonna be so tired of each other by the end of it, because you know, like the first day, we're gonna be like, "Can you believe it? This is it. This is it." And then by by like episode thirty, we're gonna be like, "Will you just get the fuck out of my?" <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be like i never want to see you again i will miss nothing <laughs> nothing all right so, and, let's talk about uh, there was, go ahead. There was such see... a summer camp summer camp feel to it though you know like yeah. that's yes. the, i mean I, what i was thinking i was like man we haven't been to summer camp you know we've got our counselors yelling at us to get out of the trailer we got you know <laughs> archery time and we gotta like climb in the mud Go in that pile of dirt. Oh, but it's like the dirtiest pile. We know we made it that way. Go in there. You know, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like just the the being like you know like agreeable to all these things of like yeah that sounds good. No, let's make it. Yeah, I'd like to be more uncomfortable. Yeah, this will be good. You know, and then just being in that mindset, I'm gonna miss that. <laughs> it's fun, <laughs> comfortable. You know, yeah, uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. it's, uh, uncomfortable. Who get, you know who else gets to do that? You know, it's like it's like. Uh, it's you know we we um, we're we're in these life or death situations that are actually not life or death. So you know you get to actually enjoy it rather than rather than uh, you know fret from it. It's it's I, I I think it's why everybody really enjoys the the show is that in their in their own private apocalypse at, at, at home they uh, they're able to escape to the one that's not uh, that's that's not really real. They, that, uh, that oh. you can actually in, enjoy the catharsis. Yeah, you but know? you know, it's funny because I think also the show has this beautiful ability to, um, what's that, is it Stockholm Syndrome? You know, when you kind of wish that you were captivated by your by your captor. And it's like, so that's, what, right. the, that's what The Walking Dead is like to me. I'm like, you know, we, like Dan and I were just talking about how like our first day we were like sweating. The day would never end. I was like, I just had a kid. So I was like, I was like breastfeeding. And I was like pumping milk off the side of this hot day. I mean, I'd move my family to Atlanta. I remember I got up in the morning, the earliest I've ever got up to shoot. My alarm went off at 2.45 in the morning. And I, yeah. I, 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 and obviously I hadn't slept because it was my first day. So I was like, I got in the car and I'm in Atlanta and I drive to work for an hour and I get there and it's like, it's like 5 a.m. or whatever. And I remember meeting um, um, uh, Vanessa, our lovely second. And I was like, she was like, hey, how are you? It's your first day. And I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, wow, wow, I don't know. Like, my alarm went off at 2.45 today. And she was like, mine went off at 1.45. And I was like, exactly. I was like, cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Right. Totally. No sympathy. Yet. Got yeah. it. Got it. Shh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's work. And you know, it's so funny because all of that stuff and the dirt and the grime and the long hours and the just rolling your sleeves up and getting in there. Like I miss all of it already. Yeah. Yeah. Like I yeah. miss it and I cannot wait to get back to it. Even though when I'm in it, I'm like, Ugh. and then I'm here and I'm like, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot wait to get back. Yeah. I'm just yeah. like, and I, and I feel already nostalgic too, Dan. I do. I feel really like, Oh wow. Like I know it's going to be a long season. I know it's the final season. And we'll hold those two things in balance the whole time we're there. But yeah. it's going to be kind also, of all of it for me. I also, feel like we shoot on we, film. I'm sorry. We shoot on film. That, that's yeah. also something I, that's special. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. you're right. Yes. Yeah, but you know that's changing now. You know that's changing. What do you mean? What? Yeah, it's one of the changes that with, with COVID that, that just, to, just to try and like streamline some stuff. Oh, because, touching uh, all the yeah, Are you yeah, kidding just, me? Really? Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. I think they're gonna manipulate the uh, the 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 um wow. the image, but 
but uh but yeah yeah i think we're finally going going digital wow. because uh yeah oh, yeah just boo. because i mean because because uh, guys we can't we can't shoot we can't shoot as long as we used to and you know right, we, we're right. we're 10 hours right, and we're out you know we can't we yeah. we just don't have the time you know there there the amount of rules that we we break oh. on this show to make the to to to, to get this stuff in the can is mm -hmm. hilarious you know, mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's a labor of love for, for, for everybody. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, but, but also the idea of, of doing a long season, I mean, with, with, with these first six COVID episodes, and then, and then we move into uh, 24 um, more, more episodes, we're going to be shooting uh, for, for uh, pretty much an entire year. And, uh, and, and, and shooting, Shooting seven months out of the year took an incredible toll on on you know uh, us, but but especially the crew, and yeah, uh, sure. and yeah, and to be able to uh, and just just to be able to get this done logistically, I think that mm -hmm. you know there there were just some concessions that had to be made, and that's one of them. But uh, yeah, what's what's disappointing about that is the um is for the fact that it's ten seasons of consistency, so. Mm -hmm. Even in, you know, like, like you remaster this thing, even 15 years from now, um, that film's probably going to still come out looking better than, and all those seasons will look alike. And then you're going to have this, these, these last, but you know, you know I'll with be, that I'll, said, I'll be, they're doing, I'll they're doing everything they, they can to. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll bet they'll, uh, they'll manipulate as, as, as best they can to, to, to try to, to, uh, to, to mimic the, uh, that the good old Kodak stuff. But, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to see what, uh, you know, what it looks like and what it comes, uh, comes out with, but, but it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the, the Washington <laughs> monument, you know, that they started building it, then the civil war happened. And then, uh, then they built the rest of it out of entirely different, uh, you know, uh, 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 stone. So, yeah. so you've got this two tone monument that is uh and it's like it's like that's where it happened you know the that's watermark it, that's that's mm -hmm. that's the watermark and uh and, and uh you know so may, maybe that's that's the thing huh. you know people huh. will be able to notice that's where the covid happened that's where, <laughs> oh, that's, where the, that's where the pandemic changed changed everything all right let's talk about let's talk about the future for a second i'm very jealous of the three of you because you're doing voiceover and i want to be doing more of that and uh, so, can we talk about? Uh, I can't say anything. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Man. <laughs> okay, but there. Once we can, oh, but say I have something to tell the story. That. I can tell the story about about me story. because because uh, because <laughs> uh, uh, Cooper and I have the same manager, right? And and Cooper called me. He got this. He got this great job. He got a great job. You're just gonna have to trust me. It's a great job. You know what? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Uh, you you won't even know it's me. Hold on. I'll tell you. <laughs> All right. You ready? You ready? I'm going to tell you. Kari, <laughs> yeah. are you secretly Black Noir in the boys? Because Of course I am. <laughs> I am. I'm going to tell you. It's, it's, it's Black Noir. You're going to run what? that back and play it. Run, run, that, back, run that back and play it backwards. And it, it'll tell you what, what he's doing. It's awesome. It's he's amazing. mastered but reverse anyway, speaking. Yes. Zatanna. So exactly. <laughs> run, run that back like, like a Beatles record and it'll tell you what it is. So but but, uh, but but in the meantime, I found out for my my uh but the our manager, you know, uh, was like, I can't find Cooper anywhere. He got this great job, this great voiceover gig, you know, this this animation thing. It's it's just amazing. He got he got this uh got got this this job and and um and 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 that that I actually auditioned for as well. But Cooper, Co Cooper just slayed this thing. Cooper slayed this thing, and he got he got the lead role in this thing. Okay, I am so excited. It, my, my manager call, calls me up. He's like he's like I can't find Cooper anywhere. Can you find Cooper? <laughs> and I was like, you know, can can you tell him? And I was like, I, I'm just screaming. I'm just screaming. I'm so excited. And I start calling on all platforms. I like I call I call Coop can't find him I text Coop can't find him I go to Marco Polo I send him Marco Polo just screaming dude you got the job la, 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 la. 
I'm I'm screaming. I go to Instagram. <laughs> I leave him something on Instagram. I leave him something on Facebook. I start to think that maybe he he like drove into a ditch and is bleeding and dying because I oh. can't find him anywhere. I am I, I start to freak out. Okay, I call his wife. I can't find his wife. I text. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm texting. I'm calling. I'm trying to look up his mama's phone number. You know, I, I, I'm trying to find Cooper anywhere I can. I think that I think something horrible has happened at this point. Okay, I've gone straight QAnon, just, just thinking conspiracy theory. You know, something horrible has happened. A couple of hours later. Yikes. A couple of hours yeah. later. Uh, 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 Cooper's wife, Abin, calls me, and and she was like, she was like, "Hey, Kari, what's going on?" And I was like, <laughs> and I was like "Where have you been? Are you all right?" And they was like, "We decided to take a nap." <laughs> it was it they was ten thirty in the middle of the day. <laughs> it was like in, in the middle of the day. That's a nap. They were in L.A. We were in Atlanta, <laughs> and it was like, "Yeah, oh, wow." I thought this was like a. Th- I thought this was like a three week Ugh. affair. You were like that was a that was a long nap, baby. It was a long. It was a big. Yeah, yeah. But, but and so anyway, I was like, uh, and and then after all of that, I ended up being, not getting to tell him anyway. My my manager said, like, Avin Avin ended up calling calling uh, our manager Ted first. And Ted told him anyway. So all I all I got was just abject terror. I thought I lost my gear. Well, next time we'll, um, we're going to have you on because there's like a further synchronicity here once we actually can say what the hell it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, right? Oh, I need a back cool. phone for Cooper because, cause, uh, you know what I mean? Like a dedicated <laughs> line. Um, well, congratulations to you congratulations, guys. Congratulations, Cooper. Uh, Sorry, I got called. Um, let's get Paola on, man. We got <laughs> we got little Lazarus, little Lazarus, little Lazarus. Uh, she, uh, she popped off of the the waiting room. If you want to shoot her a text real quick, oh we'll get, okay. We'll Do you guys know what? Her, okay, sorry. You guys, um, you want me to text her? I got her sign oh, back on. Do you guys know what her <laughs> name means? That's the other prophetic name. <gasps> oh yeah. I'll t- t- oh no no no. I want to know. Does she know? Oh my okay. god, this is Paola. Exciting. Paola means little, and Lazarus means you know rising from the dead. Right. Wow. Okay. Uh, so ooh. she's little Lazarus. Her she's little, like wow. her career is she's rising out of fucking Walking Dead. Oh Lazarus. my god, that's awesome. You know what? It's so perfect, and it also is like. Is it a coincidence or is it meant to be? I believe that. It's like, yeah, absolutely. you know, you do, you you go, just, you're bringing the crown home and she's just this little princess just rising from the dead. It's perfect. Rise up. Yeah. Um, that's yeah, I, I think that people's names become self-fulfilling prophecies or something. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's so. weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you're going to uh, research mine and it says like, you know, <laughs> Jewish banker, accountant. <laughs> it's my destiny. I was well, there one day. <laughs> I think Eleanor, Eleanor Matsura. I think Eleanor means little girl from England, and Matsura <laughs> yeah, means pine tree. You nailed it, tick. <laughs> um, and uh, Matsura means pine tree by the shore. <laughs> so you know, got a lot to uh, got a lot of stars to reach for there. Absolutely. Um, there you <laughs> so. Go. Well traveled. So, <laughs> Sounds well traveled to me. That's true. That's true. So, so yeah. there's been a couple of great entrances okay, so, on the show, and Kari, yours the first time Paola we see is here. We in, the, in, the, in the in the in the you know the theater with the tiger, and then there's Paula who's joining us now, <gasps> and oh. the first time we see Princess <laughs> in the middle of the road, her pink fur jacket <laughs> and her is. big gun, and she's joining us now. <laughs> Hey. What's up? What's up? Hey, Listen, this, 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 oh. What's up? Listen, this is relaxed, right? Like I'm, a, I'm in a t-shirt. Like this is not like yeah. 
No, we're oh, over. Whatever. It's you Saturday. Amazing. Everyone's oh, everyone's absolutely. relaxed except Eleanor. <laughs> anyway, it's like a going Saturday. A I was Saturday. I was in my pajamas and I put on a shirt for y'all and it kind it's of blends Saturday. in with the patterns in the background of my mum's house. That's the story. That's right. Paula, welcome. I miss you. How are Thank you? Thank you. I miss you too. I was with my family. I'm so sorry. I totally like lost track of time with them. I have a, a nephew. No, you- Great. He's like two months old and he just started. Oh, yeah. Yes. Of course. That cute. Every little thing they yeah, do. The one magic, I think, he's man. so cute. He just started laughing. So oh my God. I'm like, I'm, I'm just like trying to be a clown in front of him. And sometimes yeah. he's like, he's like, dude, dude just stop. Yeah. And then sometimes he's like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was just, just to get one, right? Him. Just to get one laugh, you're like, I mean. Just one, just one, just Uh one. What are you guys up to? What are we talking about? We're talking about, hey, we're talking about The Walking Dead. Okay. What's that? What's that? (laughs) uh, Dan's going to do a palm uh, reading in a minute. When we had, when I. uh, What's up, Brady? Sorry. I was telling him what your name meant, how prophetic it was. And, And. Oh, my God. I was saying how, like, if The Walking Dead is apocalypse now you know Ooh. and we're and it's the 11th season and we're getting to the end that right. that princess is dennis hopper you know <laughs> hit him with the sirens man <laughs> no i'll take that you any day I mean? i'll take I love it, that any so day. much that's so good I'll he shows up out of the fucking blue in the middle of the fucking <laughs> yeah you know? yeah yeah i'll take it oh my god cooper's here too yeah. What's up, everybody? Where's everybody at? I'm, uh, we're in the UK. Eleanor and I are in uh, London. Uh, where yeah. you guys? I never. We're, we're in Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Right. We're in Atlanta. I'm about. I'm about Los to uh, Angeles. <laughs> to move down, down to uh, to the studio. It's uh, there are too many people in Atlanta. I got. I got to stay away from everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's safe. That's safe. Where are you, pal? You're in New York? No, I'm in Houston. I'm back in Houston. I was in New York for a sec, and I'm back in okay. Houston. So I'm just oh, okay. keeping safe. I'm not leaving the house because mm-hmm. um, I really want to get back to work. Um, I miss community, and I miss yeah, you guys, yeah. and, and just laughing with y'all and, like, singing mm-hmm. with y'all. And I don't know. We just it, – it's, it's going so to be so crazy. Have. Yeah, mm. it's gonna be so know, crazy to be to be closer. At least, you know, I you know I I can't even talk too much about, yeah, about uh, it's tricky, anything it? else that's happening. Right, so, right, right. I mean, you know, but I mean, we have some surprises, you know, that that are that are coming that that I uh, that I'm excited about. But but I but yeah yeah it's 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 first of all I, you know we we had such a great time just bonding that last mm. few episodes and. And uh, you know, and and it, and it feels it it feels uh, honestly th- this this pandemic feels like it's going on forever. But that felt feels like it wasn't that long ago. You know, I know what you mean. Ago, right. You know, I know what you it mean. It was a year ago. Yeah, I, I but remember it was like a when year we ago. did we did uh, all of us did like a rendition, like the Spanish uh, version of Total Eclipse of the Heart. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if Somebody you recorded it. I, somebody Come must on. have. If you I never heard like we the Spanish, it. I know, I know somebody's got it somewhere. I, I'm, I'm yeah. Gonna, I have to track if you it never down. heard the Spanish version of that song, please do this for yourself got it. and listen to it. Oh my God! Listen it's amazing. to it. It's amazing. You know, I have you a drop video. that video on your Instagram. Yeah, I have a video <laughs> I discovered the other day, pal, of of like the rainy day. You know that episode, which was that mm. was like uh, fourteen, I think, or fifteen. No, it was fifteen, wasn't it? Fifteen. 15, yeah. 15, 15. Uh, we were all we were all um, jamming, but particularly you were jamming to Mariah Carey. <laughs> And I have it. We were doing full. I mean, I think we'd gone full tilt. Like we were like we were like dancing. The rain was what's, coming down. What we were song fully was it? Mariah. I have to find it. I mean, I'll find yeah. it and I'll post oh, yeah. it. Yeah, post, post it, it Mariah. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll see how embarrassing it is. Yeah. Did you have right. fun during the at home house party? You know, we got banned in New Zealand. Very proud of that. <laughs> what do you mean we got banned in New Zealand? How come? Oh. What do you mean I we got know. banned? I can't believe I have it. How did Isn't you find Dan? Good? Dan, how did you find out we got banned? What's the story? Immediately, they, they okay. the main oh. Comic Con yeah. people said that, yeah, that we got take we got taken down in, in New Zealand. 
Wow. And then, um, Why? We weren't doing the, anything. I, th- I think wrong. it was just the music. It was just the music uh, copyright rights. rights. I think that, mm-hmm. that they got they got worried about. Oh. But I yeah, feel like yeah. it's the equivalent of like the cops knocking on the door, which I, I feel good. Like, you have, like, <laughs> Absolutely. That's how you it's, know you're throwing a good party. Exactly. It's not the first time I've been banned from somewhere. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I ain't the last. Uh, All I, just, right. <laughs> I just thought about a dragon con uh, for some reason. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. I missed you. You got dragon banned con. in New Zealand. Oh, yeah. yeah I was in New Zealand. Zealand. So much fun. We'll get, oh, we got to get a t shirt made. So, um, exactly. So playing princess, I mean, that's, that's so cool to me. I, I'm like, it's a fan of the comic book. Dude, I geek out. Yeah. Are you a fan of the comic book? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I geek, geek out. Like I'm like, I, I still have my phone background, the, the cover of the comic. And I don't care what anyone thinks. If it's like, <laughs> if, it's, if people think like, I don't care if people like I went on a, kind of date the other day you know what i'm not gonna talk about that um <laughs> come on oh, no, 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 no 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 and who is this uh, oh, yeah, no. no 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 but All the right. person listen we're gonna talk later okay I, need them we, to come we will. I know I, I need you i know you have to approve but uh um the person did this man saw my background on my phone and for a second i was like oh man i feel a little self-conscious and then i was like hell no I love this character. I love yeah. being a part of this family. So I still have it as my the cover, the wallpaper on my phone. So so yes, I geek out frequently. Yes. Yesterday I was crying on the phone with my friends on uh we were doing FaceTime. I hadn't seen them in a while. And then I just burst out crying because of this whole experience has been uh so beautiful. And mm, I, I don't know, yeah, and, and to be respected um in a workplace and to be embraced in a workplace and and loved and welcomed in a workplace that you haven't been in so long has been just that kindness of everybody is something that you know sometimes in life we we don't recognize when people are being kind to us but i think it's something that we need to start uh embracing more and and telling other people thank you know thank you for that kindness and Mm -hmm. it's something i'm very thankful for well, I'm really happy that that Josh re- just reminded us because uh, because all because uh, Cooper, Eleanor, Dan, um, uh, and and Josh, even when when he became a part of the, the the show, we all had the luxury of being brought in with a group of people, you know. Right. So we were we we kind of came in with a with a class of season seven or class of season right. eight or nine. Right. Right. And and. Uh, and and uh, and Josh would immediately, you know, recognize that that uh, that um, that that Paula doesn't have a, a a class to come in with, you know. She's coming in on her own, so we got we we got to be the upperclassmen who like, you know, you know, who let you know that that uh, that you that that you don't need to have any self consciousness or or feel like you're not you're, you're you're somehow not a part that that you are immediately family. You, the, you, yeah. When when they gave birth to you. And 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 uh, you know and and uh, and you came out. You are family, and we love you immediately, like we would any baby into the, you know Thank into you. the fold. So so uh, y'all were so, y'all were amazing about that. And it's just I can't imagine a better way to come into something and than with you all. Um, it was just so nice. It was just never forgot it. It's it's almost like like you guys the characters were s- starting over. Right. 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 Like, oh yeah. Absolutely. Right. We all Elemental. felt that, right? Like we all yeah. we all we all yeah. felt that, I think. I think I think it was also we we had like four characters who are from such different points of experience with the show. Like mm-hmm. you couldn't have more opposite corners, I think, meet in the middle. You know, Paula's just started. Josh has been on it for a long time. Cara, you've been on right. it for also a long time. I, I feel like I've just started. It was like, we were both like bringing it together. And we all stood there pretty much every day that we were working going, this is kind of a wild pairing. Um, for yeah. some, you know, like this is this is crazy. Every character here, we, you would never pair in, in usually in The Walking Dead. And it's like, here we are going on this journey. I think everybody embraced it. It felt like this yeah. new kind of... Uh, lease of life 
like, okay, right. So we thought we had one thing and now we're going off in this completely different direction. Yeah. And, and so you're right. Like Kari earlier when you said like the stuff that we shot feels like yesterday, I know exactly yeah. what you mean. Cause the other yeah. stuff, like the pre story, even though I only really properly shot it like a week before we started doing our stuff right. feels like a million years ago. <laughs> so but long. Our stuff feels kind of like just the other day. Mm -hmm. It feels fresh. Wow. It's weird. Yeah. It's, so, it's so bizarre. It was um, a new energy. It was a new, new energy, energy yeah. that, that, uh, that, you know, because, uh, because we, we are all going off and the, and the, the only thing that brought us together is that we were all like, we got to get out of here. You right. know, you know what I mean? And, uh, and, and, and there's, there's, there's something about, uh, uh, you know, grabbing somebody by the hand and running you know, that, that you don't have to have anything in common except the direction, you know? And, and when you think about it, um, Eleanor and Kari, um, both of your characters had just lost something like, if I'm not mistaken, in a way, mm -hmm. you and Magna, that relationship mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. shifted. Um, so, yeah. Right. So has um, Ezekiel's relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he's sick. So so what you're saying, Dan, that it's a new beginning for, for a lot of them is true. And for Josh's character, for Eugene, he's embracing a new relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which hopefully works yeah. out. Yeah. 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 And what, like, yeah. On, yeah. On, on that, Paul, yeah, um, there's the fact that also, um, you know, uh, Eleanor and Carr, your, your characters are both leaders and both of you just sort of needed like to sit back as well. And, and Josh, yeah. you know, Eugene, it was always like, he was just doing his thing. And then he had mm -hmm. to, um, uh, you know, now he's like, well, I'm, I'm leading this now. And it's just seeing just how it, how that shift is, you know, and, but, and, yeah. you know, both your characters being like, no, 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 no. I'm, I, this is me time right now. I'm, I'm going to help him right. be a badass, but yeah. me right now. And I love yeah. that because it's just, 10 years of that, you know, like 10 years of the characters going through that kind of position. It's like, I need a fucking break, you know? So. Yeah, hey, oh my God. Know. That's such a cool yeah. observation. Keith. I well, love that. It's, it's that relation thing you do after a relationship, you know, it's like, you know what? I, need, I really need to focus on, you know, uh, um, yeah. on your, it's, I, I need to get, the, get to know it's the ap me. Again. Apocalyptic. Yeah. It's the apocalyptic version of a haircut, isn't it? We're like, okay, we'll go on a new mission. Cause uh, I broke <laughs> up with my girlfriend. Can't get a haircut. Let's go this way, you know, it's like, yeah. let's get out the real friends and go. I feel like in real life, we're actually going through that right now as a society <laughs> with the pandemic yeah. and yeah, quarantine. Yeah. Absolutely. We are in an abusive relationship and we are desperately trying to get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> you well, know, yeah. uh, how was the scene where um, Yumiko and Ezekiel shave each other's heads? How did that go? I never got to talk about it. Incredibly smooth. Did we sh Shaved each other's heads? Yeah. It yeah. was great. Yeah, when you guys shaved it. Yeah, it was, was as. Was, uh, wasn't was your real it, hair, right? That was just a. Uh, it was as sensual as you'd imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It was my uh, real hair. But, mm -hmm, you know. mm -hmm. This is I, this is a wig. This is a wig. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, this is kind of dark. I, I, this is kind of dark. Like, go ahead. Go ahead. I like dark. Okay. <laughs> well. Well, first of all, it's just kind of interesting to. Well, I don't know if I want to go there, but how go about this? It. how would you want to, how, if you had your druthers, if you had your choice, how would you want to uh, go on the show? Mm. Mm. You know what? I've been asked this uh, question before and, and, uh, and I'll, I'll say what I have, uh, I've, I've said in the past. Man, fuck you! I'm not telling you how I want to die. I'm, you, man, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been figuring out how to stay alive on this fucking show. You think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you like any idea? We gonna get banned in New Zealand <laughs> again. You. Yeah. I'm, I'm not giving you no oh, idea. We just got banned everywhere. <laughs> yeah, shut it down. Hey, man. Uh, We're definitely an R-rated show, so not too concerned. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, true, true, guy. true. I, will, yeah, I think it would be well, we hysterical now. if you were be hysterical if it was like you 
you were attacked by tigers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen of them tried to eat my penis and nobody helped me. Oh, <laughs> now, now we're we banned. Now, now we're, we're banned in the USA. <laughs> now, now we're banned. We mentioned the yeah. <laughs> just, just running in slow motion towards a tiger thinking, Shiva, she's alive in the last minute. Is it you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a way to go 15 feet to bite his penis um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what about you guys anybody else i have a i have like I, a crazy one yeah whenever ahead, i do however i die i want people i want this is gonna change a little bit of jerry's story but i want people to realize he's the one that mowed the grass and jerry <laughs> mows the grass in the apocalypse we appreciate that all of that very much. grass that we find is that, that he's got a riding like, on huh. the shed somewhere. <laughs> yep. I just, just have this image of him on like a. I just have this image of you like on the highway with like the slowest riding mower and just like, <laughs> and all of the, all of the horde just following you and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Dan, what's yours? What's your thing? Yeah, yeah, I want to hear yours, Dan. Okay, but let's cut it. Let's you okay. So I, I feel like you've thought about this. Discussion. Yeah, tell us. Yeah, I want to go out like doing what I I love. So I, I I I feel like I'm in Oceanside or something, and um, and I'm I'm teaching I'm teaching kids music again, and it, we're doing we're doing a concert, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like fucking conducting them. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. you know Zeppelin or something. I'm just like yes, you know? yes. <laughs> and it's amazing. You know, it's and, it's the distraction so everyone else can get away because the walkers will hear the sound, right? Oh, and that's that's how well, you no, get. So you sacrifice yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like well, okay, that's interesting. I I, I thought I just imagined. I just, well, that's yeah. Well, there you go. I uh, yeah, I just imagined um, doing it and just and then they slowly just start to to stop. You know. And then I turn and, and, and everyone starts fucking running, you know, and it's like, it's <laughs> me versus um, the entire is it, horde or something. Is it, sorry. Is it kind of like that scene in the Titanic when the, when the men just keep playing the music and the boat is like <laughs> going yes. down? Yes. Yes. And they're yeah, like, that's it, like, that's it okay. man. And I, and, and that's beautiful. I, I feel like, uh, yeah, like I feel like it's a moment where it's it's a little bit of a jump in the future where they're doing that where they feel like it's it's totally safe. peaceful that that it's safe to do it. Just forgot it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not, it's not that. It, yeah, I don't know if they forgot it or or it's like uh, I'm just imagining it's like I don't know, looking over and seeing Jules there, and like we have like two kids or Aww. something. Like it's a jump in, you know, like a jump in time. Like I love kind of like in the comic book. Mm. Yeah, Alex is great. I tried to get her on a <laughs> show. She's amazing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, her energy is just so, I don't know. She's just so bright. And and her smile, I don't know. Her energy is just good. Everybody. Mm -hmm. I love everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love everybody I've gotten to work with. I love everybody I haven't gotten Angel. to work with. Angel. Right, 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 <laughs> right. True. I, love I agree. Angel. You know Cassidy. what? It is going to be crazy when we finally actually are able to truly be together again. You know, I, know. It, I think it's going to be a surreal feeling. That, that that I, I mean, just just the entire world, you know, that 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 to to truly be tactile again, you know, that because so many of yeah. us are very, we're very, you know, touchy feely, you know, kind of folk, and and that thing, and 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 to to be able to truly embrace again is is uh you know is is go gonna be I, I I can't even imagine like the 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 wealth of emotion, you know. When and the I, surreal and the surreal nature of yeah. the world with the masks and the, the yeah. you know, bending off death and the I mean it's it's gonna be it's gonna be life imitating art in a lot of ways. It's very strange. Yeah. Um and it's the little things. I I I I've been on set recently doing Fantastic Beasts just a couple weeks yes. in. Mm -hmm. I wake up yeah, yeah, must have. Yeah, I wake up. Yeah. Super cool. Oh. <laughs> I wake up, I wake cool, up every man. day. I wake up every day so excited just to be there with everybody, you know. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. 
really the little things now, man. Just to like, like, oh, I get to act t- today, you know? <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Uh, but that's the thing, isn't it? The, the one, the, is it a silver lining? Yeah, I guess it is. Like the gratitude. And I know that word gets bandied around a lot, but I really mean it. Like the gratitude for the yeah, little yeah. things. And like, I've simplified a lot in my life, you know? I'm like, oh, I don't need that stuff oh, anymore. Like, I think I just need don't. this. Like, because yeah. this is all I care about, actually. You know, right? these things. Um, that's what this year has shown me for all the crap right. that's happened. I'm just like, wow, I just, I just want to get rid of, well, thankfully I have got rid of just all of the stuff that, like you said, you get to work today. You get to go in and act today, Dan. Like that's beautiful. Like to be with it's people incredible. and feel like the energy in a room of other people. Oh, and, I miss and I it. Think, I think because of the industry that we're in, sometimes re- that reality is lost. And I think mm-hmm. for a lot of, yeah, you, get you know, used to it. Um, yeah, and, and that gratitude is lost. And, and I think this time has shown, at least for me, what really matters in my life. Yeah, and, me, too. me too. And one of those things that matters is making that baby laugh out there, you know? Yeah, and, yeah. Mm-hmm. the little things, right? Mm-hmm. And talking to you guys things. about life and about feelings and about real stuff yeah. um, mm-hmm. and getting to, to do what we love. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Let's not repeat the the uh, the the um, the mistakes of the past. I feel like we. I I, I just I want to put this out there as a public service announcement because I think I I, I think this is happening. I, I feel like we are repeating like this uh, this one hundred year kind of cycle. You know, because like 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 uh, like the pandemic of like nineteen twenty. You know, uh, you, you know, <laughs> Spanish flu, whatever. You yep. know, so so uh, so when the when the roaring twenties start, like okay, let them roar for a little while, but around twenty twenty four or twenty twenty five, everybody just let's, let's not go crazy, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's chill, let's chill out, let's chill out. Thirties, when the eventual depression comes again, mm-hmm. let's just say that we let's let's like a little moderation. Mm-hmm. Let us truly be grateful. For the you know, and learn from this this time, so that we don't go crazy and lose our minds in the Roaring Twenties, yeah. so that we yeah. don't have a true depression in the in the uh, yeah, in and the so we don't go to war in the forties. I'm exactly. with you. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Let's yes. Let's see it right now. Let's see it and and make sure that we we make that that sea change. You know, to uh to to make sure that that uh that truly gratitude changes you know, the narrative, you yeah, know, baby. for this century, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Cause uh, I, 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 Ari just, 2024. Uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. Just put a okay. reminder, a notification in your phone in 2024. Treat, mm-hmm. Just, just chill let's the back fu- it down. Let's chill chill out a little treat, bit. treat every day. Like it's 2024. <laughs> Tomorrow it's 2024. That's the slogan. That's like it already company. happened. Like, <laughs> Yo, how's, how's your puppy, uh, Cooper? Yeah, he's Belushi. good. Well, he was Belushi. just here, no? Belushi. Yeah, we saw Belushi earlier. Oh, okay. okay. Belushi. Yeah, he was he was rocking out. He's he had a uh, one of my buddies came and uh, brought their dog, and now he oh, still looks out the door for him. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, like two, no, they yeah. they stayed for like a, like two and a half weeks. So it was that's the other thing. Travel now is like when you come to visit, it's like it feels like yep, stay for a little while because you're gonna have to drive back. So yeah. it was. Uh, but yeah. now, now, like he'll just look around and he's like looking for the dogs, and so mm. yeah. Hey Cooper, he's, he's good otherwise. Yeah, Cooper, you you yeah. and I wrote that song. I went to the well, the well, the well, the well, the well, the well. Can y'all sing that? Right now? Uh, I can. That- I said a one, two. <laughs> Can we tell about- should we tell people? How- oh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to sing that song. <laughs> Should we tell people? We played it at the beginning of the show. Should we tell people how we came up with that? <laughs> I'm fine, I'm yes, fine with that. <laughs> okay, so okay, so we had a long day of shooting. It was a, it was a night shoot, and and <laughs> Cooper's just like, "Hey, man, come over. We'll, we'll hang out." And uh, and we were talking to Ryan on set. We were like, "Hey, what? You know, what if we? You know, what if you did an album or something?" And he was like, "Well, <laughs> shit. If you guys write a song." And we're like, "Fuck, let's write a song." <laughs> so, so we're like, okay. and we're cruising long it's it was like midnight past midnight um 
and you know how we do you know we we break for the day and we're we're doing our vape pens like we do and uh you know we're, we're you know and we're getting into like a it was a real sleepy indica okay and um and i just remember you had the heat on it was, it was the heat was so high in his tesla and the tesla is just floating along like, yo that tesla is dope i've never been in a tesla thousand, until that one. thousand miles an hour so oh. i hit the i hit the recording button and i said hey man let's just come up with some lyrics and he's like sure and i'm just all Oh, well, through the well. And I was like, we'll just go back and forth, you know? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, sure. And I think I got halfway through the fucking song and it's like, let me and the foot. And then the next thing I know, I'm out. And I'm like, oh. next thing I wake up, I wake up in Cooper's living. No, 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 I wake up in Cooper's driveway. Murderer. I wake, <laughs> yeah, and then the murderer. I wake up in Cooper's driveway and like, I'm just like, whoa, we're here. And he's just like, yeah. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> And I and I listened back, and somehow we finished the song. <laughs> I don't remember Amazing. how. <laughs> I don't remember how. It was fun. I love it. I love it. Amazing. So anytime, Cooper, anytime we have, we have to, well, that's yeah, our yeah. true magic. Yeah, true magic occurs. I really need to hear that Start song. Creating. Oh my! I went God. to the well. And the river was dry. It was dry. Where Damn, we got to we got to record that and debut about. that here on the yes. Podcast. Let's, yes, do that. Please, Let's do a full record and debut on the 40X. All right. Boom, yes. boom, boom. Yo, you Yo Bernie, where, where are you at? Los Angeles. I like that uniform. But, ooh. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Dan asked if I would uh, cosplay for the episode and uh, found some stuff in the yeah. closet. So there you go. Yeah, you can cosplay. I just, oh, I just found this in the closet. I don't normally have it. It was just it's, uh, it. it's it's someone's thing. closet. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Whatever. I just, it's actually from doing I uh, Super Troopers at a, at a convention one time with some Hey, friends. Bernard. Uh, okay. Hey, Bernard. Oh, <laughs> yes, I thought sir. I was Scream. Do we have any uh do we have audi- any audience questions? We do, we have a couple. Um one okay. for uh one for Kari. So how's it been knowing that Ezekiel's been an inspiration to so many and so have you? Um oh. and uh and her oh. quote, and yet I smile is a motto I hold dear to me, and your honest and happy self uh wow. has always made me smile. Oh wow. That's 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 oh, more. Man, I I mean I don't I don't even oh. it's it's uh it's I, I have to say that that uh, you know I've I've known that my name means like little king you know ever since I can remember, and uh, and it, I got this job and and uh, and it and it and it and it was one of those moments where I, I thought to myself oh I, I really did I thought I thought huh oh. maybe that's it and uh, and and I have been I've been you know, doing this job for, for coming on like three decades now. And I, uh, and I always, it was, it was always my, my want was to, was to connect with someone I'd never meet. And um, because, uh, you know, and because that's the beauty of broadcast. That's the beauty of, of, uh, of, of having your work, you know, recorded for uh you know for posterity and all time and and uh but uh but the the beauty of of uh of Ezekiel and the Walking Dead is is that is that I I actually do get to meet those people I thought I would never meet you know that I've I've uh, there've been so many opportunities that I have that I I have I have embraced and 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 spoken with and and cried with people who who needed the story that we're telling, you know, that, that they, they needed their story. I, I remember um, there was a, a lady that I, I met in San Antonio and we were, you know, we were, we were at, it was a, it was a little convention. We were, you know, signing autographs and everything. And this was, it was, it was Sunday. It was the end. And, and, uh, and she, and, and she was one of the last people that I met. She, she had driven from the other side of Texas. And if you, it, it, like, I think McAllen, Texas, we, and uh, and um, to drive across Texas takes literally takes you 24 hours just to drive across Texas, you know. And she got there, and she and she uh, she gave me a hug, and and she wouldn't let me go. And it wasn't like it, it wasn't like, like kind of a weird like uh, you know okay I think we're done now. It, it was 
it was just she just kind of melted in my arms and 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 uh and I sat there and and uh and we held each other and and um and and she and she just quietly said it's just been so hard oh you know and and it was just uh you know and 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 she said and I see you guys out there fighting through it all and it was like I'm not doing this you know I'm not doing this by myself I don't know beyond what what her story was you know um that that uh but but it was but it was important to her to come and 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 let me know that we that we have a connection and uh and and growing up there were so many I always thought that you know what I want to be able to tell stories that 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 get broadcast across the world that I know that that I am affecting someone that I may never meet and the truth is is that I get I I got to meet that woman that I thought I'd never meet and it means the world you know wow. it, and and uh and it and it's truly why this is that that that's the reason why you know that that visceral connection you get on stage you know is 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 literally amplified you know a million times over and uh and 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 I feel it and it, and it may and it and it gives me uh an incredible sense of uh of of purpose and uh and yeah, so I don't know if I answered the question, but th- that's what it made me. Feel. Bernard, that was that's that was beautiful. beautiful. That was Bernard. Beautiful. This is Bernard. This is my this is my favorite show. It's, yeah, yeah. Well, this but is- you know, with, and and that's also the connection between all the people that are here today, right? And and you guys have such a, a rich history with each other and an incredible chemistry, which we see on screen, but we now see behind the scenes. So it it definitely. Uh, this has been a great one. This has been a really good one. Uh, this is um, my favorite one. I love all you guys. I wish we could keep going and and but we got to kind of wrap it up here. I um, what do you got? We got one more question, pal. Yeah, what, I'll do one more. That? It's a it's a Paula question uh, from uh, from Lynn Riger. Um, how did you feel the first time you put on Princess's wardrobe? And I, I think it's pretty cool because. You know, it, what everyone is wearing and, and a lot of the characters is like kind of j- it's clothing, whatever. But when you look at the character from the comic books and it's a fairly direct interpretation, um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So how, how was that experience? I just felt like a seven year old kid, like that excitement, <laughs> you know, that excitement that is unfiltered. Doesn't matter what anyone thinks. It was that excitement inside inside that trailer. The first time I put that on, I I danced with with the clothes on. I have little videos of me dancing. I haven't posted them, but I have little videos of me dancing with my little clothes on, like just like a little kid, just so excited um, to be living the dreams that I had as a child, and 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 just seeing, just being thankful that I didn't give up uh, the, with in the certain times in my life where I was gonna give up and I was trying to give up on everything um so for me putting that on was the realization of of me having not given up on on life and on my dreams and so it was just an excitement of like when you get the christmas gift you've always wanted as a kid or or when you get a new bike or when you're done i don't know like good good that good unfiltered joy so that's how Uh, what it feels like i had this Uh, i had this wish uh, I had this wish that when I heard that they were going to do princess, I had this wish that um, Luke gets to meet her and and somehow her Walkman works. And she's just like, you want to hear it? And like, I, and I'm like, are you fucking serious? And I just hear it and just start fucking weeping. Like, Oh my God. (gasps) Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! You've got to message Angela. You That's a beautiful that. scene. Yeah. That is a beautiful <laughs> scene. That's a beautiful uh, moment. What? Oh my god! You're yes, like the only person. With, like, you got the only person with the music in in the apocalypse, right? Do those things yeah. work? I don't know. Yeah, there there might yeah, be music yeah. playing in uh, uh, in her head. It's, uh, yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> maybe too. But that would also be an amazing scene. If that you, would be too. I go to hear it. I'm just you're like, like you're, and you're just like, and you look at her eyes, and she's like, huh? And, and you're yeah. like, and she, it's uh-huh. just <laughs> it suddenly <laughs> becomes suddenly it becomes it's cool, hooked, right? You know, yeah, she's like, you have to imagine be... Peter. Oh, 
There's food yes. there. Yes. The food fight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think you should fucking, pitch it. That's beautiful. That's, that's beautiful. beautiful. I want to say one thing real quick. When Paula, Please. when uh, when uh, uh, I first saw you, you weren't you weren't in costume. You were you weren't in costume, and I just I, I just looked like that's princess. And it was just like this. <laughs> it was it it. It was, it was just your energy of it. Like, so it's funny when you say when you put on the costume, but like immediately I'm like, I was just, I was just like, oh, that's, I was like, she is so badass. I didn't even meet you yet. And I was just like, that person's a badass. And then, and then I was like, yeah, you, like you, you talk, you know, you, you were saying how it's like a, you know, this gift, but I mean, you're, you're, you're giving a gift back. You yeah. know, it's not, yeah, it's not a one way street here. It, yeah, I mean, so it's just, I mean, we're all just as happy about it, you know, because yeah. it's, you know, Thank you're you. also giving this for our show that we all love. And it's, it's yeah, just and amazing. Just, so just to leap frog yeah. on that, because Coop, I love that so much. Like, Paola, when you were talking about, like, feeling like a little kid putting on the costume, I just wanted to say, like, the character of Princess makes me feel like a little kid whose dreams have come <laughs> true. Like, it does. It really does. It's like, yeah. I think you have the embody the character as you, but also the character princess, and it meets in this beautiful way, and it's just like, it's like childhood, like, energy and joy. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you guys, so, she's so guys, unique. Thank you. you guys all have that in common. I must say, there's a, there's a, you all are imbued with childhood energy and joy, and uh, I wish we can keep going. This is, um, Okay, so this, I want to thank my guests. Uh, you got to watch the finale. Let us know what you think. I'm very yeah. so You guys are all wonderful. Someone Lovely. call Kari and spoil it for him. <laughs> no. um, we'll get it wanna, tomorrow. <laughs> make sure, all through October, I'm going to have more Walking Dead folks on uh, all the way up through Halloween. Look for a heavy metal magazine theme show and the Fantastic Beast theme show. Um, mm. And then near Halloween, we're going to do a big cosplay party, uh, you know, and you guys are welcome whenever you want to come on. Um, oh. uh, it is oh, 2 a.m. right now. And Dan, we're going to we're going to start we're, we're, we're going to start accidentally oh. blind copying them all the link. Right. We just see who shows up. Sure. Kick, kick go. out of every down. country. You got to stay home, but you can't stay <laughs> here. Uh, Bird, you want you uh you want to walk us out, pal? I, this was my favorite show. I I, I love everybody oh. here. Oh, thank love you, guys. Oh, thank you, love guys. you Dan. Thank love you, you guys so much. So nice to see you. My God, I wish I could be I there with you guys. For the for the fans in the chat, you're gonna actually we're gonna take you home with a little sneak peek, uh, a little video. We're gonna we're gonna leave you with. But uh, I just want to say, as always, Dan, my good buddy, it is always thank a pleasure. Uh, Coop, great having you on as always, and it is my first thank experience. You, uh, Kari, Eleanor, and Paula with all three of you. Um, but hope to have you again on the show. Hope to meet you guys in person. Uh, Dan and I do some partying and uh, we'll have to have you guys uh, at some of this stuff. Yes. Um, yes. And uh, producer Elvin in the studio at NerdBot um, yeah. out there. Thank you so much for all the hard work fans. Thank you for all the questions. We appreciate it. Uh, so much love to everyone. Stay safe out there and uh, let's all tune in tomorrow. It's the big long awaited finale of the walking dead. Thank you all so much for joining us here at the Dan Fogler 4 D experience. Bye, Thank you guys. Love y'all. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. Peace.